And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay and Sheffield football tonight. We're at uh, Wright Stadium, and, of course, we're in Sheffield, Alabama, about 15 minutes away from getting this game underway tonight. It is homecoming night for the Sheffield Bulldogs tonight as they take on the Red Bay Tigers. Last time, they weren't that uh, friendly to us over here on the football field. They beat us about 20 to nothing, had a very good ball club, but Tigers uh, love to uh, get a win here tonight and continue this undefeated season. Big, big uh, region game here tonight, uh, the biggest game uh, so far this season for the Tigers because it means a lot. Of course, a very tough game coming up next week. We got, of course, the ball club from Colbert County coming up. So, on behalf of all the uh, staff and management over at Sheffield, we want to say how much we appreciate Principal Joseph Birch, uh, AD Davis Hufstedler, and of course, he is the head coach as well of Sheffield. We want to say how much we appreciate them uh, for allowing us to be able to broadcast this game right here and having a good spot to broadcast on top of that. Today's game, of course, uh, is homecoming night, and we'll let you. Uh, watch maybe in the background some of the things going on on the field. I think most of the festivities are going on at halftime tonight, but uh, we're here live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're on Facebook Live tonight. We're on TV 12. We're on, of course, WRMGRadio.com. We're on 97.9 FM, AM 1430, and just looking across the way, a very good Red Bay Tiger crowd has made their way over to Sheffield this evening here to watch Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Appreciate Denise back at Control Center. I'm joined tonight as we're going solo tonight. we got Byron Hellams with us, and I uh, want to say how much we appreciate folks like Red Bay Reynolds making a game possible tonight. Mr. Johnny Weatherford, also Explore Liquidations. They keep spreading out and adding additional stores. We'll be telling you more about Explore Liquidations. And, uh, of course, I noticed they're opening a location over in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. they got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, down in Fulton, of course, your main location there for the Red Bay folks is down in Belmont in the Belmont Industrial Park. Appreciate the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council, along with Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering. That's, uh, of course, 356-2300. Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore on our broadcast tonight. Also, the Bay Auto Service and Detailing with Benny and Holly Crickendall. They're located on the Golden Road, oil lube filter featuring mobile oil. Mobile Super Synthetic and also Synthetic Blend, plus they carry all other brands as well. Detailing inside and out, pickup and delivery available at the Bay. We'll give you that number one more time, 256-376-2020. Also on the broadcast today is Gary Armstrong. It does all your dozer your backhoe work. If you need dirt move, we're the one to call, 256 256- 810-4596. Also, Dr. Larry Stutz says good luck to the Red Bay Tigers and other Terrier teams tonight from your state senator, and he works hard for you every day. Dr. Larry Stutz. Also, Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry on a broadcast here tonight, practicing since 1993. Staff members are Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amos, uh, Amy, and Rose. Also, want to say how much we appreciate Alpha Insurance in Red Bay. Of course, Alpha Insurance and John Cook be sponsoring our instant replay on our Facebook Live broadcast here tonight. Once again, it's an honor to have you on the broadcast here tonight. Thank you, David Hester, your Franklin County Commissioner, for making this game possible this evening. And, of course, he says good luck to the band tonight. Also, the cheerleaders and the football team. Thank you once again from David Hester. Once again, we're live in Sheffield tonight, all made possible by Dr. Fabianca in the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. You can call them at 256-356-4411. Family medicine, sports medicine, geriatric. Also, a big shout-out today to B.J. L. Ron Walters at B.J.'s Hair Assessments. You can call her for an appointment at 662-676-4445. Walk-ins are welcome and one available, and appointments are very much appreciated. Once again, call B.J. today at B.J.'s Hair Assessments. Also, a big shout-out this evening to 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum. They're listening to us right now, 356-2226. Of course, open Tuesday through Thursday, 1030 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 1030 until 10 o'clock. For all your cater needs, uh, call us and let us make uh, your life a little easier at 4th Street. We serve good food at reasonable prices every day at 4th Street Grill. Come check out our brand new new menu items. Also, Bunny Gray at Davis Realty Associates on our broadcast. Call them at 256-460-8064. Also on our broadcast today is considering the Lilies, Angie, and Ted LeMay. Don't forget they got those brand new men and women's official Alabama Collegiate Church. Some of the stay cool material. We're excited to announce that we also got bedding, linens, and more. 
We have the Sawyer Mills collection available in different styles and colors. We also now carry farmhouse, rustic, primitive, and holiday designs. Come and shop now at Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay. Like I say, it's an honor to have you on the broadcast this evening. We're live tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And we're on Facebook Live tonight at Jack W. Ivy Senior. Now, a lot of folks, uh, even though you've done it every game this season, they still uh, don't uh, know if you're going to do it or not. Yes, we are doing it. Uh, as of right now, our, our, our streaming signal is pretty good. And if you're, if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, once again, we appreciate you being with us this evening. We're going to listen in to the uh, starting lineups for Sheffield. Defensive lineman, offensive lineman, number 53, Chris Garner. Defensive lineman and offensive lineman, number 52, Derek Smith. Defensive lineman, number 50, Rodriguez C. Linebacker and tight end, number 23, Will Armstrong. Defensive back, number 21, Xavier Smith. Linebacker number nine, Derek Hood. Linebacker and wide receiver number five, Devin Doss. Linebacker and wide receiver number three, Martez Smith. Linebacker and running back number two, Jalen Jones. Defensive back and wide receiver number one, A.J. Cherry. And your quarterback, Number seven, Corey Foley. Hopefully you can hear it in the background. The starting lineups uh, for the ball club from Sheffield, Alabama tonight. You can see the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders getting ready as the spirit line is about ready to perform or get formed up. we got 8.45 showing on the clock before we get this another way. Once again, we're live in Sheffield tonight right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Honored to have you on our broadcast this evening. Do me a favor. If you have not shared this link with your friends, right now would be a good time to do that. Today's game brought to you by that Carl Lewis Sausage, and, of course, it's available at Swamp John's by Stadium Pros with Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education, also on our broadcast this evening. Also, right place, Red Bay's beautiful venue for all types of parties, reunions, and events. You can call them at 256-412-8376. And that is Chris and Leslie Wright, your owners. They would love to accommodate you. Once again, uh, once again, uh, Congressman Robert Adderholt on our broadcast here today as well. Once again, an honor to have you on our broadcast here tonight. We're going to, uh, Denisa says we're sounding good. Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming on our broadcast tonight. Also, big shout out to the Cardinal Drive In. They're out on the Golden Road in Red Bay. And they're always open late. They're open seven days a week. We're talking about the Cardinal Drive-In. They do a wonderful job, great food. If you hadn't uh, tried that uh, world-famous hot fudge cake, uh, Byron, it is mighty, mighty, mighty good. I'm going to check out our Facebook Live. Uh, check it out just a second here. But if you're out there, uh, y'all bear with me just a second. And uh, Byron, does that sound pretty good? Of course, Byron's on a delay. we got seven minutes and 13 seconds to go. Once again, we've got the Red Bay Tigers and, of course, the Sheffield Bulldogs about to play here. And I want to say hello to all the folks that are already lining up, getting on the broadcast. Thank you, Mr. Robert Newell. Uh, we got, of course, Danny Latham up in Chicago. we got Andy Deaton and uh, several others already watching now. If you'll leave me a little, just something short and sweet, we'll try to say hello to you. Sometimes all of those do not come up. So if I don't say hi to you, don't get mad at me. That means... Uh, I didn't know that you did it. Community Spirit Bank on a broadcast tonight. Banking solutions since 1908. See Brad Bolton and the staff. Call them at 356-4445. Also, Fastway Car Wash. Miss Ann Vincent out on Highway 19. Your Edward Jones agent is Mike Jones uh, with us this evening. Andy Deaton said we're sounding good as well. Mike Jones said stop by our office at 128 North Jackson Avenue in Russellville. You can call them at 256-332-7924. Make something 
into today. Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Thank you, Mike. At Edward Jones, also Dr. Ralph Nix Family Dentistry, located behind the post office. You can reach them at 356-8641. New business hours, Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 5, Thursday, 8 to noon, where your dental health is a part of your total wellness. Dr. Ralph Nix, thank you so much. Also, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, serving the area now since 1945 in their 52nd year of service to the area. Four generation is Deaton Funeral Home. Also, big shout-out to Albin Mason Construction Company on our broadcast this evening. Appreciate you, Albin. Appreciate uh, Caleb Collins uh, checking in. Caleb, hope it's looking good where you're at this evening. Also, big shout-out to uh, Miss Brenda and Jack Elliott down in Red Bay, Alabama. Remember, we always uh, love to hear from you, so you let us know if you're out there uh, watching this evening, and we surely would appreciate you uh, joining us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Denise is back at Control Center. And she's got three games going tonight. We got, of course, Belmont hosting uh, Nettleton. It's homecoming night in Belmont tonight. We got, of course, the Tishomingo County Braves there on the road. They got a tough game as well. They are in Corinth tonight. Blake Long, Randall Lindsay, Jack Jr. over in Corinth tonight. We got, of course, uh, Steve Bates. We got uh, Scott Webster and Jacob Stanley. They're down in Belmont for homecoming night. Appreciate Predator Pest Control for all your pest control needs. We take care of the termite problems as well. 20 years experience. Clay and Ted Weatherford. And also, big shout out to Eddie Deaton at 662-315-2841. Also, don't forget Albin Mason Construction Company. Let me give you Albin's number, 662-660-3355. We build new homes. We do remodeling, roofing, additions inside and out. We're doing, a, a, got a big track hoe excavator work. We're doing that now, Albin. Said he's got the boys that can run it. I can assure you that. 662-660-3355. And also, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, on our broadcast this evening. Thank you, Brother Steve Lindsay, checking in. We got Sherry Bolden Collins in with us. We got Miss Sue Hellams out there and Miss Ronnie. We got uh, Terry Parsons says we're looking good here. Once again, we're live tonight on WRMG. Uh, it is homecoming night. And uh, I guess the uh, escorts and the... Uh, they're uh, beautiful uh, sweethearts, as they call them, I guess. Homecoming queens, football queens. They're all making their appearance in here tonight. And that will be coming up at halftime right here on WRMG. We will let you have a chance to watch that on Facebook Live. you got to do me a favor. Uh, you've got to share this link. Still, lots of folks don't know the broadcast. It's being broadcast live video. They're listening to it when they could be watching it. We don't care uh, which one you want to do. But if you want to actually watch the video, uh, you can do that right now, like Coach John Tariski, Miss Leo, they're watching on Facebook Live. Coach, I hope it's looking good back where you're at. There's old Mike Engel at Mike Engel at Engel Farms on a broadcast. Mike's one of our big sponsors, and we appreciate you, Mike. Med Express of Red Bay Nurse Practitioner Kayla Humphreys on our broadcast tonight. We're about three minutes away from uh, the ball game. We've got the captains about ready to make their way across the field uh, for the Red Bay Tigers and the Sheffield Bulldogs. Red Bay, of course, uh, making her way across. You got uh, Hester, you got Arden Hamilton, you got Jake Pounds, and also you got you got Seeley out there, number 68, the captains. Normally we'd have Keith out there tonight, but Keith uh, is on assignment tonight. So we're going to see what the uh, toss gives here and to see if the Tigers can. Uh, Make a decision. Byron, I think if we the toss is our way, I think we're going to take the ball. What do you think? You think we, you, is that your bet? Okay, Byron says that too, so I'm not alone, even though we could both be wrong. I talked about Mike Engel just a minute ago. For all your poultry house cleanouts and litter spreading needs, call Mike 256-668-0775. They've just tossed the coin. It looks like Red Bay has won the toss. They're looking toward them. And now they look over to Sheffield. Sheffield is going to pick their end of the field. So Red Bay looks like it's going to be going left to right. And uh, if you're, uh, of course, uh, joining us right now, Red Bay has won the toss, and they've elected to receive, and they'll be going left to right if you're watching uh, your radio here. Looking and sounding good. Thank you, Miss Sue Hellams. we got J.T. Abels uh, checking out our broadcast here tonight. Uh, we got Coach Jimmy Lavelle Mayfield out there, and you folks, if you've not shared it, now we're going to – can we block them if they don't share it? Byron gives me permission to block you if you don't share it, so hurry up and share it. 
Tiffin Motorhomes on our broadcast along with uh, uh, Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling. We'll give you the number 256-356-8913. They've been in business now over 45 years. And ladies and gentlemen, Red Bay Tigers are making their way out on the field. They'll be dressed in all white tonight. This is the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Sheffield now making their way out. And the Sheffield Bulldogs is selected this game for homecoming tonight. We'll appreciate Wright Body Shop and RV Repair at 306 Fifth Avenue in Red Bay. Your owner there is Chris Wright, 256-810-0763. Fiberglass repair, full body paint detail replacement and also custom trailer paint, insurance claims, protective film removal, free estimates, over 26 years experience is what you get at Wright Body. I'm Jack Ivey with Byron Hillams. We're live here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Red Bay Tigers and the Sheffield Bulldogs are about ready to kick it off here in Sheffield, Alabama. Thank you, Brenda Elliott. Miss Brenda, have you shared it? Miss Glenda. Summerford, have you shared this link tonight? Leah Tariski out there tonight. Y'all do me a favor. Uh, Danny Latham said he did his part. Danny's up in the south side of Chicago watching tonight. Appreciate you, Danny. Appreciate Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford. Uh, four, uh, three, five, six, four, oh, four, four on our broadcast. Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, also Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore and Brenda Purser over in Red Bay, Alabama. We are going to have some instant replays tonight, and they're brought to you by Alpha Insurance with John Cook in Red Bay. So we'll have our Alpha Insurance. Not, not everything's going to be uh, available to, uh, I guess, replay or not. So uh, we'll, we'll show you some replays uh, throughout the broadcast, all made possible by John Cook at Alpha Insurance in Red Bay, Alabama. Thank you, Hayden Deaton, checking in on the broadcast this evening as well. And the kickoff, and the Tigers let it get by him. Mason Holt runs it down at the three-yard line. He's back to the 10, and he gets his legs cut out un under him at about the 17-yard line. Anthony and uh, Shea Pounds uh, is watching out there. And if you're watching on Facebook Live, thank you so much. Jimmy Keaton checking in with us. Red Bay Tigers in all white tonight. Sheffield and their gold helmets, their purple tops, white pants. Thank you, Gary McKinney, checking in with us. Thank you, folks, for making this broadcast possible here this evening. Red Bay in the shotgun, two receivers right. We're going to hand it off. Big run room over the 20, 25, up to the 27-yard line. Very close to a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. And the Red Bay Tigers off to a good start here. As King running the football, that's Hunter King running it for the Red Bay Tigers. So it'll be enough for the first down. We're going to get the football up at about the 28-yard line, first down and 10. Jalen Vinci, new quarterback, and we got a little movement on that one by the Red Bay Tigers. So uh, we're coming over to the side here to see what this official call Looked like there might have been a little movement there, but uh, there may have been something that we didn't see. So now he's going back, and we'll we'll see what the official says here in just a minute. Now they're saying in Croach would just lined up off sides. The Red Bay Tigers lined up, so it'll be a five-yard penalty. So Red Bay will have first down and 15. That ball moved back to the 23-yard line. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. One in the slot. Hunter King is your running back. Hunter, good running room again. He's up over the 25, this time to the 30. Picked up seven on that one. Looks like it'll be second down at about eight. Of course, we had to make up for that uh, penalty there for the encroachment for the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate Chris Faulkner out there checking out tonight on WRMG. Once again, we're live on Facebook tonight. If, you don't, if that was to mess up, of course, you can turn it on 97.9 or go to WRMGradio.com, the Red Bay link. We got covered everywhere. 
Tigers moving around a little bit, set it up. Quarterback's going to pull it down, run it. He tries to get to the corner. He does. 35 up close to the 38-yard line. Let's see if he stepped out of bounds shy of the first down. He did step out of bounds shy of the first down, a couple of yards short. It was a pass play, but uh, I guess that run play option, and, of course, uh, that decision was made pretty quickly there by the quarterback. Vincent and, of course, the Red Bay Tigers now looking at third down and two. They're on 36-yard line, first down and 10. Hester down over the ball. Under center is your quarterback, Vincent, from the power eye formation. We'll ship to the right. They're going to hand it off, and we got some good push on that left side, and depending on the spot, he's going to be uh, have enough for the first down. Across the way, it is enough for the first down. And it will be a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. Number five, Devin Doss checking into the ball game. And Jalen Jones, uh, actually not Jalen Jones, uh, Christopher Smith checking out for the Sheffield Bulldogs. Red Bay undefeated coming in here, still ranked in the top five. Number five, two receivers to the right. That's Arden Hamilton. Number 17 is Humphreys. He got pounds, or not pounds, but... Uh, they head off, no running room that time, maybe the 41-yard line. Mason Holtus, I was trying to say, going to the left side. Appreciate Randy Ivey with us after tonight, Mr. Keith Seahorn and Kim Carnes out there with us tonight. Sheffield and Red Bay. Sheffield, the home team here tonight. Belmont's hosting Nettleton tonight. Tish County is over at Corinth. We'll try to keep you up to date over there as the scores come in. We've got a man in motion. That's Holt. They get him on the jet sweep. And they're going to get Holt for a loss all the way back to the 37. Good defensive play there. Number 55 did a, a great job defensively there. And it's Trayvon Williams there making the stop. we got 8.50 to go in the first quarter. And... Byron, I can actually see the score clock. You can <laughs> I normally have to hang out the window uh, to see it back at Red Bay. Colton Corum, thank you for being out there with us tonight. Susan Ledbetter, Holt, and Colin Humphreys going to the right side. We got the quarterback in the backfield. He's by himself. We're going to bring Holt. We're going to fake the jet sweep. They're going to run us, and we're going to be lucky to get back. And we're not going to do it. We're going to lose yardage all the way back to the 30-yard line. Not a good play for the Red Bay Tigers there. We're going to have to back it up a little bit further on that one. As you see, they had that one figured out big time. Here is our replay brought to you by Alpha Insurance of Red Bay. And you see they're running down our quarterback, Vincent, throwing him for a big loss there. So it'll be fourth down for the Red Bay Tigers. And there is going to be a flag thrown. I had to back it up a pretty good bit there uh, for you to see it because I didn't get uh, get it adjusted in time. But that replay brought to you by Alpha Insurance with John Cook in Red Bay. Sheila Fennel Helms checking in with us. And we have got a flag offsides against uh, Sheffield. That's going to move the ball uh, up to about the 35-yard line. We lost all the way back to the 30. We need to get to the 49-yard line for a first down, but it is fourth down. They got a couple of speedsters down to their 40-yard line. Come on, Jalen Vincent. There's the snap by Kennedy. Uh, not uh, That's Caleb uh, Bragwell punting. And all the way down to about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Sheffield. They'll bring in your quarterback tonight. Number seven is uh, Corey Bolden, or Bowling, B-O-W-L-I-N-G. He's a 5'11 senior for the ball club. So the Red Bay Tigers will have to adjust to a lot of speed here tonight in Sheffield. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score in the game. They're going to bring two receivers to the left. Your quarterback, Bowling, will be in the shotgun. He'll have a running back right beside him. We've got one receiver to the right. And let me see what Sheffield does on the first play from their own 36-yard line. Quarterback back to pass. He's looking long throw down field. He's got a man wide open, and they're heading to the end zone for a touchdown. Sheffield 
we had nobody on him. He got beside us pretty easy there. I don't really want to show you this again, but I'm going to show you he is wide open. And we might be able to back up. Uh... So they was way in behind us, and uh, Sheffield has jumped to out to a six to nothing lead on the first play of the game on the offensive side for Sheffield. Rhonda Scott checking in with us, Randy Creekmore, Brooke Carnes, Angie Howell checking in, Larry. Once again, we've got Red Bay Tiger football live from Sheffield, Alabama here tonight. And Sheffield is going to line up and run for a two-point conversion with 7.18 to go. Six-nothing, Sheffield. Quarterback back to pass, looking, and he's got his man, and he is into the end zone with a two-point conversion. We'll show it to you again. Sheffield going for the two-point conversion. There he is. We hit him, but he is able to get into the end zone uh, for the two-point conversion. So Sheffield has jumped out to a 7 to nothing lead. I'm Jack Ivey with Byron Hillams, and we're live here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. They're recognizing all the uh, folks from way, way, way back, and I think I put the score on the wrong place. That does look better, doesn't it? I think I've got them actually... Uh, I'll get that fixed here for you. There we go, Sheffield seven to nothing. Sheffield will be kicking off. Appreciate Josh Raber checking in with us. Holt is the deep man. It's a squib kick, gonna be picked up by the Tigers. 25 up to the 30, to the 35, to the 37. And he might get up to the 38-yard line. Hunter King on the return for the Red Bay Tigers. So Sheffield leads eight to nothing instead of seven to nothing. Why didn't you tell me it was eight? Byron Helms uh, giving you those great shots. If you're wondering where they're coming from. Uh, We'll get that corrected for you. Red Bay Tigers on the handoff and not much running room there. Sheffield has jumped out to an eight to nothing lead, six minutes and 58 seconds to go. Corinth has already jumped out on Tishomingo County and we got a holding call against the Red Bay Tigers. 14 nothing Corinth. And that game going on over in Corinth tonight. Homecoming night here in Sheffield, Alabama. Jack Ivey, Byron Helms here with us tonight. Appreciate all of our great sponsors, of course, on our broadcast tonight, like Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They try to meet all your high reach needs. Red Bay first down in 25. We need to get up to the 49-yard line. We bring a man in motion. That's Colin Humphries. Tigers back. A little screen pass set to the left. It's way overthrown intended for Hunter King. So Hunter King, uh, that uh, play there, I may not be able to get to it. It's overthrown, as you can see. So the Tigers now looking at second down and about, actually it's uh, Actually, a little over 20 yards to go for the first down. Quarterback this time going to roll out to the right. He's got Arden Hamilton downfield, but I don't think he's going to be able to get to it and get into it. He's going to be sacked. Nope, he gets away from it. It's a three-yard line. Now he needs a block. He gets one. Now number one chasing. Now the long throw down the field. It's intercepted by Sheffield. So what was looking good and promising turned out to be even worse case scenario. We'll show you the replay there as he got it. Got it away and it was intercepted. I don't know where I can uh, go back any further. There he is running. 
and he throws it downfield as he was he was thrown all the way back. Uh, they like to got us back at about the two or three yard line. So Sheffield in great field position right now at the Red Bay Tiger 35 yard line. I didn't get to show you all that replay that I wanted to. I didn't get it set in time. But uh, we dropped back to pass. We had Arden Hamilton wide open downfield, but we had a defender after him and uh, he, we couldn't get in a position to throw it. And uh, he liked to have been thrown down all the way back inside the five yard line. There a little screen pass. 20, 35, down to the 30, to the 27, fumbles the football, but Sheffield has recovered it. Eight to nothing with 6-12 to go, Sheffield on top. Live coverage here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Honor to have you on our broadcast here tonight on WRMG. Do me a favor, if you've not shared this link, right now would be a good time to do it. We're live in Sheffield, and we have got a heat timeout with 6.01 to go. And we definitely needed a heat timeout. We needed uh, Brenda Elliott's watching with us after tonight, Chris Faulkner. And uh, appreciate all the folks that are watching once again on Facebook Live tonight. Angie and Steve Kennedy watching us out here tonight. Byron, uh, not off to a good start. They beat us 20 to nothing last time we were here a couple of years ago. Appreciate Allen and Nash once again in business off for over 45 years, your York dealer. Uh, trying to see where we got to on our sponsors just a minute ago. Appreciate Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, 301 Jackson Avenue, downtown Russell, injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing. You can call Dr. Rick Wooten at 331-0208. Also, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning. Best wishes tonight from Chris and Valerie Moore, your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. Also, big shout-out today to the Banner Tire Store. We fix tractor flats and much, much more. Many different brands to choose from. Jason Parker is your manager. 662-676-2177 is the Banner Tire Store. We'll tell you about uh, Red Bay Hospital here in just a second. Bowling new quarterback, two receivers to the left, one to the right, and this time he's going to pull it down and run it, and they get him at about the 26-yard line. Not much of a pickup there. They're going to have third down and about a yard to go for the first down. You know the Red Bay Hospital, taking care of your friends and family close to home, your administrator and vice president is Sherry Jolly, and, of course, you got Miss Sue Helms that takes care of the uh, dietetic area as far as making sure that all the patients are fed correctly and she does a wonderful job there and uh, we appreciate you Miss Sue, Miss Sherry and also all the folks over like Chris Austin over in the well care center third down in the yard to go appreciate Kathy Ramirez said we're sounding great over in Decatur, Alabama Kathy we're down 8 to nothing they're going to hand it off and we come through and make a great defensive play there it'll be fourth down So hit behind the line of scrimmage. So it'll be fourth down and one. And I don't think I was able to get back far enough. I didn't get I didn't get you a good one there. Of course, our instant replays tonight, of course, is brought to you by Alpha Insurance and John Cook. What a great defensive play. Fourth down at about a yard and a half. They're going for it in the shotgun. They look over to the side, change the play. Sheffield leads eight to nothing. They're at the Red Bay Tiger 27. They need to get to about the 25. Quarterback pulls it down. He's got a first down and more down at about the 23 yard line. It'll be first down for the quarterback bowling there. He lowers that head down at about the 22 yard line. Only needed to get to the 25. We're down eight to nothing. Appreciate Jane Edwards and Mr. Woody out there watching tonight, Tracy Gordon. Bradley Patterson is wondering where that Red Bay defense is at tonight. Jeff and Sherry Hubbard out there with us tonight. Eight to nothing, Red Bay trailing Sheffield with 3.49 to go in the first quarter. Sheffield driving again inside the 25-23. Quarterback back to pass. He pulls it down, and we're going to get him at the 25-yard line. Good stop. Uh, by the Red Bay Tigers on the quarterback keeper. And your John Cook Alpha Insurance replay, and you see the good defensive play there 
by Alex Kennedy, number eight. Clay Collins checking in with us. Clay, we're down eight to nothing. It'll be second down and 12 to go as that play lost two uh, for the Sheffield Bulldogs. They got two receivers right, two left. They got them stacked on both sides. They saw a little pass underneath, 20-yard line down to the 18-yard line. As that play went to the right side and was successful for the Sheffield Bulldogs. There you see it. Good play there by the Sheffield Bulldogs. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also television uh, 97. Eight to nothing Sheffield. They've got third down and five to go. Appreciate you Kelly Moore sounding and looking great. Stevie Harris checking in with us. We we'll appreciate uh, folks like Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569. Bowling your quarterback, two receivers right, one to the left. They go a little slant pass, and it is incomplete. And I may can show you that again. He was open. Here we go. Incomplete. And the Sheffield will have fourth down at about five. Byron, we look like we're about, about the 18-yard line. Fourth down and five. Sheffield looking to the side. Bowling your quarterback. Play clock down to 10 seconds to go. He sends number five, Devin Doss, to the right side. Another speed throw over here is Chris Smith to the left. Also, he's got another receiver over here. Quarterback looking, a little screen pass in the middle, inside the 15, uh, down to the 13-yard line, and guess what? It is not going to be enough for the first down, and the Red Bay Tigers are going to take over first and 10. We'll show you this play again. This is the John Cook Alpha and Church replay. There he just dumps it, a little screen right over the middle, and... Who made that big defensive play there? Number 40, Edgman made that one, folks. That was nicely done by Edgman and the Red Bay Tigers. We'll take over. Appreciate you, Greg Thorne, checking in at home listening. Y'all looking and sounding great. Go Tigers there from Joe Tester. Thank you, Nelda Wildman. Alyssa Deaton Clements out there watching. Roman Lynch, quarterback, hands off to the left side, and we're up to close to the 20-yard line. Pick up about five for Hunter King on that one. Corinth, Mississippi, only three offensive plays, and they lead Tishomingo County by a score of 14 to nothing that game over there. Quarterback back to pass, looking, and he lays it out there, and uh, it's going to be incomplete up at the 50-yard line, and he was covered very well. Arden Hamilton was defended well. Uh, the number 21 was the defender. And Daxfier Smith. Third down and five to go with a minute 18 to go. We need a first down. We're down eight to nothing. Sheffield is leading in the game. Vincent with a man in motion. We're going to jet sweep it, but we're going to try to turn it in. And we turned it in to the defense, and we're going to be two or three yards short of the first down. It'll be fourth down and punt formation time uh, for the Red Bay Tigers. So the Tigers are going to punt it away. Well, we'll do the punt. Had a good one last time. This is a high kick. He's going to let it drop. It's going to take a Red Bay bounce. And it's going to be thrown, blown dead at a 45-yard line. They're going to get the ball at the 45-yard uh, line. So Sheffield up 8 to nothing. So 
Sheffield, the first play of the game when they had the football, they had it about this same spot and got the long touchdown play. They got two receivers left, two to the right. Quarterback bowling in the shotgun. He'll bring a man in motion. Now he'll set down on the right side. Quarterback back to pass. Fiatra joining us on a broadcast. He'll pull it down and run it. He's got five, he's got seven. Once again, 14 seconds to go. And that's probably going to be the play, end of the play. Gene, if you're listening, I can't be doing no video chatting or whatever because I'm using this phone for a broadcast. Gene Thorne out there watching us tonight. That is the end of the first quarter. Sheffield leads 8 to nothing, And Sheffield's already added to their confidence in the ball game here tonight, leading Red Bay at the end of the first quarter 8 to nothing. Appreciate the, the Red Bay Hospital. Don't forget about the big community health fair Wednesday, October the 9th, 10 to 3.30 at the Red Bay Hospital. Uh, health screening, door prizes, refreshments, sponsored by the Red Bay Hospital, Med Express, Keller Home Care, and Generations. Once again, that's in Red Bay this Wednesday, starting at 10 o'clock at the Red Bay Hospital, big community health fair. Big shout out today to Cash and Thermal Plastics. Thank you, Chuck, and all the staff, your hometown big star, Hal and Shayla and the crew. 356-2521. Also Franklin Electric, 356-4413, serving Red Bay in Franklin County. Also today's game brought to you by CBNS Bank, Mary Ellen Allen and the crew. H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton. By Grace Long Real Estate. Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food. By Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent. You can call Runny, 662-423-8477. And also a big shout out tonight to Piggly Wiggly and Red Bay, Belmont and Iuka, that Red Bay location now serving pizza by the slice, or you can buy the whole pizza and much, much more. It's really, really good. Pizza now available at Piggly Wiggly in Red Bay. They didn't just uh, decide to do this overnight. They've been trying to perfect this before they brought it to you. Just a great job. Here we go, third, second down at about two and a half. Quarterback's gonna pull it down. He's got a first down, 45, breaks another tackle to the 40 to the 38, maybe down to the 36 yard line. This guy is uh, bigger than he thinks, or than you think, or maybe I've told you. He's pretty hard to bring, bring, uh, bring down. The Alpha Insurance instant replay from WRMG. Once again, we're live in Sheffield, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey with Byron Helms here. Denise is back at Control Center. We do have an official timeout here. I think we got somebody losing some tape. Coach just jerks it off of there and that'll fix that problem. Sheffield has got it first down and 10 down at the Red Bay Tiger 36 yard line, already leading eight to nothing. Quarterback back to pass, looking downfield. He's got a receiver incomplete in and out of the hands at about the 18 yard line. Folks, he was wide open and I'll show you here on the Alpha Insurance replay. There you see, he just let it pop in and out of his hands. So the ball at the 36 yard line. Eleven oh nine to go, second quarter. Quarterback bowling, back to pass, looks and throws. It is incomplete at about the 33 yard line. And it's 30-10 for Sheffield. 
Here we go, third down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. Did they not move too early? We're going to let him comp get uh, down to the 30, down to the 29-yard line. They definitely moved big time early. We'll try to show you that on the replay, but uh, the problem is there was no penalty on it. And I don't think our replay got to it quick enough, but uh, they had a guy move definitely too quick. So it's fourth down at the Red Bay Tiger 29-yard line. Fourth down at about three. They got two receivers to the right, two to the left. One running back right there beside him, and that's number two, Jalen Jones. Eight to nothing, 10.22 to go. Quarterback back to pass. Over the middle, it is incomplete, and the Red Bay Tigers will take over first and 10. So the Tigers get a break right there. Tigers on the running play up over the 30, up to about the 32 yard line. They push him way back but he's gonna get some uh, forward progress all the way up to the 32 yard line. Pick up of a, almost three. Live coverage here tonight in Sheffield, Alabama on homecoming night and Byron, is it hot and muggy up here or not? It is unreal how muggy it is in here. Oh, it is. A, I told, sent Byron a message, told him we was going to be in a tight spot to wear extra deodorant, but I'm not sure if he did. I can't tell if he did yet, but uh, we got a whistle here. And I believe Red Bay's going to call a timeout. I didn't give you a chance. Do you normally carry extra deodorant with you to work? Everywhere he goes. So, uh, so Byron did have some extra deodorant he could wear. And, uh, of course, I knew he was going to be in a hot place, so I put on extra, so we should be okay. That latter part of that fourth quarter could be rough, couldn't it? Folks, uh, I want to say how much we appreciate the uh, accommodations here at Sheffield. The folks are very, very nice to us, and uh, we appreciate you very, very much. Appreciate Red Bay Rentals now leasing, uh, 12 by 24, 10 by 20, and 10 by 10 mini storage. You also got climate and control storage. You got more units to rent, and that's where you come in. Remember, all the locks are free, and of course, video surveillance. You got 24 act, 24 hour a day access, and you're dealing with somebody you really do like, right? Johnny Weatherford. Johnny, 256 668 0039. Let us store your treasures, and that is Red Bay Rentals. Explore liquidations, nothing but bargains, up to 75% off on all the name brand merchandise in the Belmont Industrial Park. Handed off Hunter King. 35, 40, breaks it to the 50 and down to the 49 yard line. A great run that time by Hunter King of the Red Bay Tigers. Watch it again on the Alpha Insurance replay. Folks, that is Hunter King getting a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. Let me ask you a question. How does our replay look tonight? You folks that are watching at home, uh, we added the Alpha Insurance replay a couple weeks ago, testing it out, and I think we may have it a little bit better. We got a handoff, pick up of two or three before he is pushed back. And Hunter King, once again, running the football for the Red Bay Tigers. We got second down and about seven to go for the first down. If you're enjoying our broadcast, once again, we appreciate you being with us this evening. Red Bay Tigers, quarterback pulling it down. He's got five, he's got 10, he's got more than that. He's got a first down. Jalen Vinson, let's see where he ended up going out of bounds. He got inside the 40 yard line. They're gonna place it pretty close to the 40. Second. So it will be a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. It'll be first and 10 for the Tigers at the Bulldogs 40. 
So the Red Bay Tigers will have it first down and 10. Folks, if you're watching on Facebook Live tonight, thank you so much for watching our broadcast. Red Bay Tigers hand it off again inside the 35 down to the 33. Hard running there by Hunter King. He's, he had a, over 100 yards rushing last week. You'll watch him run on this play here on the John Cook Alpha Insurance replay. And a nice gain right there. There you see him running very hard. This time they thought the ball might have got loose there with Colin Humphreys, but it is not. So it's going to be fourth down. We're going to lose some yardage. Actually, I guess it still is third down, third down. They hadn't changed it. Uh, they changed it before I looked up. Thank you, Terry Parsons, uh, Jane Edwards, Joe Tesner out there with us, Max Sparks. Thank you so much. We're live in Sheffield. Sheffield leads eight to nothing. We are in the second quarter. Even though your screen says first quarter, it is second quarter. I'll fix that in a minute. Hunter Burks is going to be split out to the left. We're in the power eye formation. The old bone. We're going to hand it off to Humphreys. He's got a first down inside the 30 to the 25 to the 24-yard line. You want to see some hard running. Check out this uh, replay here. Colin Humphreys running the ball very hard for the Red Bay Tigers. Thank you, Ucellus Underwood checking in. Farron Criddle checking in with us. Janice Collum. We got 6.30 to go. Second quarter, eight to nothing is your score. The Red Bay Tigers trail Sheffield. We're gonna hand it off to Collin. Collin trying to break it outside to the 20. Stood up at about the 18 yard line. And it is blown dead even though they jerked it out and was taken off down the field. The ball carrier. Appreciate the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council, along with Swamp Johns. Appreciate David and Jonah Thorne. We got uh, Dr. Stephen and Michelle Ray watching us tonight. Appreciate Swamp Johns on our broadcast here tonight. Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, the Bay Auto Service and Detailing with Benny and Holly Kirkendall on the Golden Road. Theron McKinney at McKinney RV and also Gary Armstrong on our broadcast. Red Bay Tigers handed off to Hunter. Hunter's got some good running room inside the 15, down near the 12 yard line. And he is going to have another Red Bay Tiger first down. That first down comes with 5.32 to go. Folks, we got 5.32 to go in the first half. And we have got another timeout. Joe Tesla says everyone in this comment section are true Red Bay Tiger fans. We truly love our team. I can't come to most games, but Jack, I thank you so much. Go Tigers. And that great video you're watching there is coming from the world famous Byron Hellums. Byron Hellums. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to fix our scoreboard right quick. We are down eight to nothing, but we're actually in the second quarter. And if you'll give me just a second. I guess you can see that second quarter now, right? Sheffield leads Red Bay eight to nothing. We'll appreciate uh, Dr. Larry Stutz. Good luck to the Tigers tonight and the Sheffield Bulldogs and all the area teams working hard every day from your state center, Larry Stutz. Also told you about Dr. Stephen Ray's family to industry located on the Golden Road business hours from Monday through Thursday, eight to five, practicing since 1993. Hand off. Kobe, it's a little brother. Hunter is gonna get it down near the goal line. What a run by Hunter King and the Red Bay Tigers. We'll take another quick look at that one on the Alpha Insurance replay and look at him run hard. Just short of the goal line there and they pushed him back. We got plenty of time, second down. 5.06 to go. Thank you, Adam McGee checking in with us. Glenn Graham, Twyla Graham, we got Matt Davidson, Melissa Close, KLOSE watching. 
Red Bay Tigers inside the one, and Hunter runs in, and he's in there for a touchdown. He hit a brick wall, but was able to fall on into the end zone for the touchdown. Let's see if we can get it all on there. Well, I guess we missed it. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers score the touchdown and make it a eight to six game. Tigers most of the time always go for two, but, and the Tigers into the end zone, two point conversion. So the two point conversion was good. Let's take a look at that two point conversion play as the Tigers come up to the line of scrimmage. So now we've got an 8 to 8 ball game. Jack Ivy Byron Hellum is live in Sheffield, Alabama. Made possible tonight by Told you about Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry. Let me give you the staff. They got Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Rose. Appreciate Gary Armstrong with us tonight. Told you about Mr. Theron McKinney. What about uh, the Dr. Fabianca and his staff on a broadcast? 4.48 to go, and the Tigers on the board for the first time. Family medicine, sports medicine, geriatrics. Also Alpha Insurance, John Cook, 356-4411. If you'd be like to be one of our sponsors down the road on uh, maybe a little instant replay for maybe basketball, boy, maybe something. We're going to need some sponsors, and we appreciate you. Good shout-out to Adam McGee out there with us, uh, Miss Lynn Johnston-Quinn. Got old Danny Latham up in Chicago tonight, Brandy Miller, Glenda Wright, Zach Ziarko checking in with us, uh, Matt Davison, Ryan Noblock, Benny Kirkendall, and Miss Holly out there tonight, Destiny Bishop. Kurt Kennedy checking us out tonight. And there's the kickoff return to the 25, to the 30, up to the 35. He, we miss a tackle. There is a flag, and we finally get him out of bounds. So we'll check this flag out here in just a second. And we'll see what this flag is all about. 8-8 eight eight is the score. Thank you, Farron Criddle, with us after tonight, Renee and Farron Kent. A push in the back by Sheffield. Appreciate you, Chris Blackburn, checking in with us. Cody Wooten. Appreciate BJ Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Necessities. BJ carries the Kendra and uh, Babyless and TG and Bedhead and Chick and Fairy Tales and Matrix and Wet Brushes, Sexy Hair. and uh, Is that the kind you use on your hair? That sexy hair. And... Uh, Byron and I was going over what, which one of these products that we use. That's down at B.J. Rod Walters, B.J.'s hair assistance. Quarterback back to pass over the middle. It's complete at the 42, 45, and it's first down and 10 for the Sheffield Bulldogs. You'll see the pass over the middle. We had him covered pretty good. We, let, we did let him get away. So Sheffield will have it first down and 10 at their own 47 and a half yard line. Red Bay Tiger football tonight on WRMG. Appreciate you, Cody Wooten, checking in with us. Quarterback back to pass. Steps up. He's got a man over the middle. First down to the 40. Down to the 35. He breaks it open. He's in the 15-10. And the Tigers, number 10, Jalen Vinson, tripped him up and saved a touchdown. Watch this play right here. Alpha Insurance replay right over the middle. We're going to have to switch away from it pretty quick because Sheffield is up to the line of scrimmage. And you'll see right here, Jalen Vinson saved a touchdown there. Back to live action. Sheffield, first and 10. We're all tied 8-8. Eight eight. Quarterback back to pass again. He pulls this one down. We get him at about the 10-yard line. Appreciate Doris uh, Smith checking in with us. Todd Raper. I want everybody to do me a favor if you're watching. First of all, make sure you follow us on Facebook. But everybody that's watching right now, if you would share this and get it out to your friends, we'd have more folks uh, watching that would know about the game being on Facebook. 
So I want everybody to stop what you're doing right now and make sure you share this. It's real easy. Share it before you do anything else. 3.23 to go, all tied 88, Sheffield. First down and 10 at about the 10. Quarterback back to pass. Pulls it down, throws over the middle, incomplete, and there is a flag. And we'll see what this flag's all about. All tied, 8-8. Eight eight. Holding against the Sheffield Bulldogs. There's Miss Lauren Murray Hellams checking in with us. You know her, don't you? Byron says hi, Miss Lauren. Teresa Criddle checking in with us. Will Lauren share it, you think? You think she'd share it? She probably would. So the Sheffield Bulldogs are backed up on that hold. And the line of scrimmage now is at the Red Bay Tiger 27 yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun, two receivers to the left, one to the right. They're gonna hand it off. He's bringing it to the right. He's got some running room. He cuts it back in, misses a tackle. He's at the 10, five, touchdown, Sheffield. And guess what? We didn't do a good job on that one. Watch us miss a tackle there. And he breaks it into the end zone for a touchdown. One more time, you see we had a shot at him. We cut back and another one dove at him and both missed and Sheffield into the end zone for the touchdown and they take a 14 to eight lead. Here late in the second quarter, 3.03 to go. Sheffield 14 to eight. Appreciate you, Nick Thorne checking in. Steve Elliott, Terry Parsons back with us. They're gonna go for two. Quarterback's gonna pull it down and we're gonna keep him out of there and he, the two point conversion will not be enough. 14 to eight is the score. Don't forget it's homecoming night here in Sheffield, Alabama. Do me a favor, if you've not shared it, we need to hear from you. Well, I'm gonna update the scoreboard as Sheffield has taken the lead. Sheffield leads 14 to eight, second quarter. Live coverage here tonight on WRMG. Dylan Grisham out there with us tonight. Danny, you're right, can't miss those tackles against a fast team. Sherry Shook checking in with us. Dylan Grisham, Adam Henson, Jason Milam checking out there with us. Appreciate Gary Armstrong. It does all your dozier backhoe work. You can call Gary, 256-810-4596. Appreciate Congressman Robert Anderhold on our broadcast tonight. Also a big sponsor is the Bay Auto Service and Detailing, Benny and Holly Kirkendall. Located on the Golden Road right across from 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. They're watching us tonight over at 4th Street. Benny's not, he's watching, but he's not working, and they're working over at 4th Street. Old Lube Filter, cleanup job. They do a great job at the Bay. Kick short. We're going to field it at 30, 40, 45, up to the 50. They try to pooch kick, and guess what? We were able to get it and uh, take off and run with it. You'll see it. I think they was hoping that we'd probably get us on about to 30, and we got it near midfield. Byron A was probably thinking maybe a fair catch at the 30-yard line. And what have we got here? Sideline warning against the Sheffield Bulldogs. What we got down here? Red Bay will come up to the line with 2.55 to go. Second quarter, Sheffield 14, the Red Bay Tigers eight. Tigers undefeated. Hand off to the 45 yard line he is Hunter King running the football. So he picks up about four to be second down and six. Red Bay Tigers about number five in the state. Sheffield lost to Addison, we beat uh, Addison. So we're in the driver's seat right now, but you got to beat Sheffield tonight, beat Carver County, and uh, you're in pretty good shape. 
we want that home field advantage in the playoffs. Two receivers right, one left, a man in motion is Kyle Humphreys. Quarterback pulling it down. And he is able to run by his man. Downfield, he's got a man open. It's complete down at the 28-yard line. Or did they say incomplete? Well, they said it was incomplete. And let's see. I don't know where I'm going to be able to get there in time. And the official right on it says incomplete pass. Appreciate brother David Conley out there tonight. Bobby Lowry checking in. There's old Chris Strickland down in. Pensacola, Florida. We got Bruce Hellams with us tonight. Amanda Ledbetter checking in with us. Appreciate Franklin County probate judge Barry Moore on a broadcast. Dr. Fabianchi at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. We're going to hand it off again. Colin Humphreys. Colin to the 40 yard line before he's thrown down. So it'll be fourth down for the Tigers with two minutes to go in the first half. Red Bay trails 14 to eight. Hope you enjoyed our broadcast here tonight. Counting our pregame, we're about an hour and six minutes into our broadcast here tonight. Thank you, Miss Lottie Soren and uh, Miss uh, Mary Lou Saint checking in with us. On fourth down and about a yard, they hit us and we're not gonna get the first down and guess what? Sheffield is going to take over. They had that and played perfect. I don't. They are going to measure. From here, it doesn't look like we got it. What do you think? I did see, I wish I could show the people at home. I got a, a picture of a football field the other night, and somebody sent me a picture of it, and it could have been first down with their lines, or it could have been two yards short. They're going to measure it right here. Byron, I know he's got you a good shot here, and they'll stretch it out, and guess what? It is not a first down. Sheffield will take over with a minute 35 to go in. Appreciate David Hester, your Franklin County Commissioner. Alf Insurance, Mr. John Cook. BJL Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Sessions. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse with Lori and Brent Collum. They're listening to the game tonight. Got great food. Got a lot of new menu items. Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. Also consider the lilies. Angie and Ted LeMay. Buy that great tasting Carl Lewis sausage available at Swap Judge Stadium Pros and Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education on our broadcast here tonight. We got a flag. A little movement here. Sheffield leading 14 to eight with a minute and 32 seconds to go second quarter. Think the right place? It's just called Right Place. Red Bay's beautiful new venue for all types of parties, reunions, and events. You can call Chris or Leslie at 256-412-8376 for an appointment. They'll show you what it looks like and they'd love to accommodate you, Chris and Leslie Wright at Right Place. Congressman Robert Adderholt, thank you so much for making this game possible here tonight. Kim Lindsay, it's so cute for you, does all your screen printing and monogramming, 256-668-0142, the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road. Thank you, Miss Denise, 356-2358, first down 15. They're gonna hand it off, and Red Bay's number 72 there in on the stop. Number 72, Brayden Parker there in on the stop for the Red Bay Tigers. Good job, Brayden. A minute and five, second down and 15, no gain then. Thanks to Community Spirit Bank on our broadcast here tonight. Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann, Vincent out on Highway 19. Your Edward Jones agent is Mike Jones. Dr. Ralph Nix, Family Dentistry, and the Deaton Funeral Home all making the game possible. 14 to 8, the score, Sheffield. Late second quarter, pass over the middle, incomplete. It'll be third down and 15. Appreciate Albin Mason Construction Company on our broadcast. Predator Pest Control, Mr. Eddie Deaton, along with Clay and Ted Weatherford. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, now running insurance in Mississippi and Alabama. Med Express with Kayla Humphreys, Triple D's Bucket Service. Also Mike Engel at Engel Farms, Tiffin Motorhome, Wright Body Shop and RV Repair. That's old Chris Wright, 256-810-0763. And also Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling on our broadcast. I bet you they're listening tonight. 
There's a handoff on third down and 15. He's to the 40, and a good hit from the side by the Red Bay Tigers. And let's see if I can get the tail end of that uh, tackle there. I may not have punched it quick enough. There you see, watch him come out of nowhere there and put the big hit on. It'll be fourth down. That was Cam McKinney. I'm sorry. Cam McKinney making that stop. Rayburn Massey checking in with us. Uh, Johnny Martha Cleveland, Ralph and Cheryl Winchester. Also want to say hello to Miss Carol Reynolds out there tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome back well, we got a timeout with 27 seconds to go, 14 to 8 the score. Appreciate Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, and Miss Brenda Purser on our broadcast here today. If you've not shared this, uh, right now would be a good time to do it. Red Bay and Sheffield football live on WRMG. Sheffield's got fourth down and eight yards to go for the first down. There's 27 seconds to go. Sheffield's going to go for it at their own 42-yard line. And it's away over the quarterback's head. He's going to fall on it, and we're going to have the ball at about the 20-yard line. Disaster there for the Sheffield Bulldogs. We'll show you what happened here. Watch it go over the quarterback's head. He'll run it down, and that's worth looking at again. There it is, way over his head. And the Red Bay Tigers are going to get the ball at about the 19-yard line. They're going to put it right on the 20. Is that where it's at, 20? Yeah, right on the 20-yard line. So it'll be first down 10, Red Bay. Boy, we get a break there with 21 seconds to go. And now we've got a timeout by the Red Bay Tigers with 21 seconds to go. So Red Bay takes the last timeout with 21 seconds to go. Sheffield leading 14 to eight. It's uh, of course homecoming night here in Sheffield. Appreciate uh, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic on a broadcast at 301 Jackson Avenue, downtown Russellville. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing as well. Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized freight line and RV dealer. Also the Red Bay Hospital, Miss uh, Sherry Jolly. Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. The Banner Tire Store with Jason Parker down on the Fairview Banner Road. Big shout out to Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff tonight, Cash and Thermoplastics, Big Star of Red Bay, Franklin Electric, also H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton. Also CBNS Bank, Grace Long Real Estate, Sunshine Mills, Piggly Wiggly, and Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent. Red Bay. Quarterback back to pass, pressure. Now the long throw, he's got Hunter King out there and Hunter runs out of room. So that one now was out of the back of the end zone. Thank you, Mike Engel, for being back with us. There's Miss Audrey Goss up in South Haven, Mississippi. Uh, actually, she's up in Louisville, Kentucky tonight. Hey, Miss Audrey. Tell uh, the world famous Jesse and Marion that Papa Jack said hi and Mimi. So Audrey Goss checking in with us up there, and she's up there with Jesse and Marion tonight. Shane McNeil, thank you, Shane, checking in with us. Kyle Glasgow, Marilyn Mason Johnston with us. Folks, we got second and 10 from the 20 with 14 seconds to go. And we throw it, and that's going to be interference against Sheffield. They was holding Arden Hamilton. I'll show you that Alpha Insurance replay, and we'll let you see that yourself. He's, he was holding him. And uh, the flags started flying, and the Red Bay Tigers are going to get the ball closer to the goal line. Let me give you the number for Ronnie Cook at Modern Woman. You know, they were founded in 1883. Modern Woman offers financial services and member benefits to individuals and families just like you. 662 423 8477. Once again, uh, Coach Jimmy Lavelle Mayfield. 
Checking in with us, here we go. First and goal from the 10 yard line. We lay it up again, Arden Hamilton goes up, overthrown. Susan Howard checking in with us. Uh, Jimmy and or Jack and Brenda Elliott. Got old John Tariski back with us. Kelly Moore. Guys, we have got second down and goal with 1.7 seconds to go at the 10 yard line of Sheffield. Sheffield leads 14 to eight. Last play of the first half. We drop the football, now we pick it up. And it's incomplete in the corner of the end zone. And we're going to the dressing room at halftime. Thank you, Glenn Smith checking in with us. Terry Parsons said, let's try a field goal. Terry, I didn't see it in time or I would have sent that message down. But uh, Glenn Smith, thank you for being out there tonight. We're going to the dressing room. It's 14 to eight, 14 to eight. The Red Bay Tigers trail the Sheffield Bulldogs here on WRMG. Appreciate you, Heath Thorne. Y'all share this link uh, right now while you're at halftime if you hadn't had a chance to do it. I don't know if the uh, Red Bay Tiger, uh, is the Tiger Band gonna play at all tonight? They're in the stands, they're not gonna play tonight. It is homecoming night. We'll show you that video for the folks. I know we got some Alabama folks watching on uh, Facebook Live, so we'll show it to you anyway, and we'll put our microphone up here where you can enjoy it if you'd like. But uh, once again, we're at halftime, and the Red Bay Tigers right now trail 14-8, 14-8. And we'll uh, update our scoreboard right here. And uh, it is halftime. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put up, just so we'll have it ready if you don't care. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put up third, so we'll be ready for the third quarter here in a little bit. Well, once again, it's 14-8, to 8, Sheffield leading Red Bay. Once again, we got live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thanks to all of our great sponsors here making the game possible here tonight. We're going to turn it over to the Sheffield Band, and it, once again, it is homecoming night here in Sheffield, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivy with Byron Hellams. Got Denisa back at Control Center. We'll get you some scores uh, in just a second from uh, down in Mississippi here. Uh, well, I can go ahead and give you one right now. Thank you. Uh, Bobby McAlpin said he's enjoying the game tonight. 42 to nothing in the first half with about a couple of minutes left. Corinth leading the Tishomingo County Braves. Once again, it's homecoming. We're going to turn it over to the band and homecoming festivities from Sheffield, Alabama. Once again, halftime score, Sheffield leads 14-8. Good members of these classes, please stand and be recognized. Welcome back, alumni. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> this homecoming, we've chosen to honor our local first responders as our 2019 Grand Marshals. Any active or retired first responders in attendance, please stand and be recognized. And let's honor these local heroes. And now, we are pleased to welcome the 2019 Homecoming Court. Representing the freshman class, Miss Amaya McCray. Amaya is the daughter of Jamelle King, Cletus McCray Sr., and Kiana McCray. She is escorted by her father, Jermaine King. Amaya is a member of the Lady Bulldogs Junior Varsity Volleyball Team. Presenting Miss Amaya McCray. Miss Janaya Thompson. Janaya is the daughter of Stephanie Welch. She is escorted by her stepfather, Marcus Hall. Janaya is co-captain of the Lady Bulldogs 
varsity volleyball team and is a member of the National Junior Honor Society. Presenting Miss Janiah Thompson. <laughs> Representing the sophomore class. Miss Abigail Llewellyn. <laughs> Abigail is the daughter of Josh and Christy Llewellyn. She is escorted by her father. Abigail is a member of both the varsity volleyball and varsity softball teams. And she is on the dance line of the Sheffield High School Sound of the Shows Marching Band. Presenting Miss Abigail Llewellyn. Miss <laughs> Savannah Pate. Savannah is the daughter of Amanda South. She is escorted by her stepfather, John Parsley. Savannah is a member of the varsity softball team as she is on the dance line of the Sheffield High School Sound of the Shows Marching Band. Presenting Miss Savannah Pate. Representing the junior class, Miss Gia Mitchell. Gia is the daughter of Greg Mitchell and the late Stacy Green. She is escorted by her father. Gia serves as a Bulldog Ambassador and is a member of the National Honor Society and represented Sheffield High School at the University of Alabama's Capstone Leadership Conference. Presenting Miss Gia Mitchell. Miss Katie Stutz. Katie is the daughter of Billy and Anita Stutz. She is escorted by her father. Katie serves as the junior class president. She's co-captain of the dance line in the Sheffield High School Sound of the Shows Marching Band. And she is Sheffield High School's reigning top beauty. Presenting Miss Katie Stutz. Representing the senior class, Miss Skyler Elkins. Skyler is the daughter of Alan Elkins and Heather Haney. She is escorted by her father. Skyler serves as president of both the senior class and the student council. She is a varsity cheer captain and editor for the Dimitas. Representing Miss Skyler Elkins. Miss Brittany Flores. <laughs> Brittany is the daughter of Armando Flores and Dionette Flores. She is escorted by her father. Brittany is a member of the Lady Bulldogs varsity basketball team and the Sheffield High School track team. She serves as a Bulldog ambassador and is a varsity cheerleader. Presenting Miss Brittany Flores. Miss Dakari McDonald. Dakari is the daughter of Leader Jamal and Anna McDonald. She is escorted by her grandfather, Roger Jamal. Dakari is a varsity cheer co captain. She's a member of the Lady Bulldogs varsity basketball team and she serves as an AIM High mentor. Presenting Miss Dakari McDonald. Miss Nakedra Ricks. Nakedra is the daughter of Marcus Ricks and Kenesha Simmons. She is escorted by her father. Nakedra is a member of the Lady Bulldogs varsity basketball team and she is a member of HOSA and FCCLA. Presenting Miss Nakedra Ricks. Miss Hayden Roberts. <laughs> Hayden is the daughter of Brian Roberts and Katina Seller. She is escorted by her father. Hayden is on the dance line in the Sheffield High School style of the show's marching band and is a member of HOSA. Presenting Miss Hayden Roberts. Congratulations to the 2019 Homecoming Court. Being selected as a member of the Homecoming Court is a tremendous honor. Let's give these ladies a round of applause.
Miss Angel Napolic, our 2018 homecoming queen, is accompanied by Principal Joey Birch. Angel is with us tonight to crown this year's queen, who was announced at yesterday's homecoming assembly. And now for our 2019 homecoming queen, Miss Hayden Roberts. Please step forward to receive your crown. Hayden is a member of the dance line. To the sound of the show's marching band, she's also a member of the host line. Hayden is an active member of the youth group at Florence First Assembly of God. In her spare time, she loves to dance and to spend time with friends and family. Although she is undecided on a major, Hayden plans to attend the University of North Alabama, where she hopes to become a lioness. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2019 Sheffield High School Homecoming Queen, Miss Hayden Roberts and her court. Congratulations to you all. And now, will you please stand as we sing the Sheffield High School alma mater. Remember Bulldog fans, my 101.5 is the new radio home for the Bulldogs. Check in with Daniel Delaney and Lee Bretton as they bring you all the action on my 101.5. drawing for the Matilo To start the second half, the Bulldogs will receive. The Tigers are being kicking off. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger football. I'm Jack Ivey live here for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're ready to get this one going for the second half. And the Sheffield Bulldogs 
will take over at about their own 30. Looks like a 35-yard line. So Sheffield leads 14-8, just starting the third quarter live here in Sheffield. A little swing pass out to the left. Kennedy trying to run him down, can't get there. Help comes from somebody else and a flag comes in. And that one's probably going to come back. Phil, uh, Sheffield had five penalties for 50 yards in the first half. Red Bay only had a couple of yards or a couple of penalties in the first half. So it is going to be holding uh, against the uh, Sheffield Bulldogs. Once again, we're in the third quarter. You can see the score on your screen if you're watching on Facebook Live. By the way, Belmont and Nettleton, homecoming night in Belmont, is all tied up 7-7 seven to seven and halftime. So homecoming down in Belmont tonight. So that'll move it back to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down and about 18 yards to go for the first down. Bowling, your quarterback, is going to hand it off. It's coming to the right side. We got some defenders there, but he figures out a way to get a yard or two. Edgeman there on the stop, along with some other individuals there coming in to assist. Uh, Kennedy there. And number 72 in on the stop as well for the Bay Tigers. Once again, if you just joined us, we're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television. 97. Right now, be a good time to let your friends know about the Facebook Live broadcast as we're just getting underway in the third quarter. We need a defensive stop right here. Second down at about 18 to go for the first down. Quarterback back to pass, looking. We got pressure on, but we let him get away. Now he puts it up downfield, got a completed pass at the 40-yard line, but I believe he dropped it. He did drop it, so it will be a good play there by the Tigers on the defense side to maybe knock that ball away. As you see the ball get away right there at the end. The Alpha Insurance replay had some good comments talking to Coach Anthony Pounds uh, down there, and he said they were watching on the way over to the game. And he said the instant replay was looking awesome and sounding awesome tonight. Once again, if you're back with us on Facebook Live, we're also on WRMGRadio.com, the Red Bay link. Third down and about 18 to go for the first down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. They're going to throw it to the left. He's needing to block. He tries to come back in, and, boy, the Tigers had it played well. He'll not get back to the line of scrimmage. Red Bay Tigers. You'll see they played this one perfectly. A little slip under there, and the Tigers making the big stop right there. Cam McKinney. Some other guys getting up off that stack. 14 to eight. Brandy Miller out there with us tonight. Dean Hubbard. Dean, how are you liking that uh, instant replay tonight? We got her fixed uh, with the audios not messed up. 10, 13 to go. Actually, it was repeating everything I said on the replay, but uh, we got that figured out. Punt formation time. He kicks it away. We got Mason hold back. Mason backs away from this one. Guess what? It's only going to the 50-yard line. We're going to get the ball in Sheffield territory. And they downed it at the 48-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate Miss Peggy Boyd checking in with us today. B.J. Mink. Danny Latham said that's how you do it. Appreciate Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford, located at 784 7th Avenue Southwest. Let us store your treasures. 256-668-0039. We're going to hand it off. We've got good running room by the Red Bay Tigers. Hunter King running it inside the 45 down to about the 42-yard line. Appreciate Explore Liquidations in Belmont and other locations now popping up. Appreciate you, Mike Stockton, J.D. Pitts, 50 to 75% off from name brand retailers at Explore Liquidation. Listen, boy, a little misdirection here. We're going to cut it back into Humphreys. Humphrey, he actually turned a little bit into, looked like what was going to be a loss. 
And uh, I'll try to show you that to you. See, he comes. He was able to cut that ball back in there and get it down to the 39-yard line. Third down at about a yard to go. There's another look at it. Down to the 39-yard line. Third down and a couple. Colin Humphrey's got a first down and more to the 30. He's going to break into the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown. Red Bay Tigers and Colin Humphreys and the Red Bay Tigers with a chance to take the lead. Let's look at it again. Colin breaks it through, got a block up there, and here's old Levi Blanton up there said, you got it clear, guys, all the way to the touchdown. And the Red Bay Tigers have tied this game up 14 to 14 with a chance to take the lead right here. I think Red Bay was going into the game tonight was at least plus 10 on the extra points with them going for two just about every time. Tigers in the power with Hunter King back there. He's going to get the handoff, and they shoot the gap, and he's not going to be able to get in the end zone. The two-point conversion is no good. Danny Latham checking in with us. Whoa, Tracy Elliott, Jeff and Sherry Hubbard, Josh Raper, Elsie Malone. We got Tasha Armstrong with us tonight. Sylvia, Doug Lyles, they're in Alaska checking us out tonight. Kenny Sparks, Mr. Kenny, how you doing tonight? 8.46 to go. In the third quarter, it's 14 to 14. Appreciate the city of Red Bay and the mayor and the council on a broadcast. Ralph and Cheryl Winchester checking in. If you've not shared this right now, would be a good time. We've got to get this uh, old scoreboard updated here. We'll do that here in just a second. Once again, it is 14 to 14. Red Bay Tigers. Have tied this game up. So it's 14 to 14, Red Bay will kick off. Jalen Vinson kicking off for the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers lined up, they're gonna kick from the 40, right to left. There's the little pooch kick going down to the 20 yard line, up to the 25, 30, 35 to the 36, maybe the 37. And a whole host of the Red Bay Tigers pile him up there. And they'll put it in play first and 10. Got to get this defense to keep playing. Wallace Helms with us today. I do not have a Colbert County score. Anybody else got it? Share it with us. 14 to 14. That's who we got next week on the road. Belmont was tied with Nettleton 7-7 seven to seven at halftime. Bowling the quarterback, back to pass. Receivers everywhere. He has to pull it down, now he throws it away. A lot of pressure being put on by the Red Bay Tigers. Big number 78 for the Tigers there. Was that 78? That's not 78, 72, I guess. That was 72, Braden Parker. Braden's only a freshman for the Red Bay Tigers. Thank you, Miss Lisa Garrison, checking in with us. David Strickland. Second down and 10 from their own 37-yard line. Sheffield, Red Bay all tied up 14 to 14, 8.26 to go, third quarter. Quarterback pulls it down, pounds, hit him low, and the Red Bay Tigers stop him at about the 38-yard line. I'm going to tell you what, that's a pretty good-sized quarterback to try to bring down, and you'll see him running this way on the Alpha Insurance replay up to the 38-yard line. Third down and eight yards to go for the first down. All tied up 14 to 14. Pounds shifts over to the right side as they got multiple receivers over there at three. We've pretty much got them one apiece. Long throw down the field and we've got him covered perfectly down at the 36 yard line. It'll be incomplete. 
see if I can get uh, get you a shot of that one. Quarterback back to pass. You can see we're stride for stride with him right there as that pass goes out of bounds. We did a good job covering that one, folks. Keith Kennedy not able to be with us tonight, and uh, we're trying to hold down the fort. Danny Latham says Addison 13, Colbert County 12 at the half. Fourth down, it's punt formation time. And there's the best punt of the night right there by their punter. And it's going to be down to the 20-yard line. If it took a bounce uh, in favor of Sheffield, that ball could have rolled on down to the 10, maybe 5-yard line. It was that good a punt. So Red Bay is going to take over first and 10. We're all tied up 14-14. to 14. And, Byron, we needed the Red Bay Tigers to uh, step it up on defense. And that was a very important drive. And defensively, we made it happen. Oh, yeah, it looks like we've come out this second half and playing a little bit better than the first. Um, Sheffield speed, offensive and defensively, they've uh, they've kind of got us on the corners. And uh, another thing, Sheffield's been swapping their defensive linemen out. Uh, they've been staying fresh. Byron Hellams with us up here in the box. 14 to 14 the score. Thank you, Sean Humphreys, for checking in with us. Red Bay is going to hand it off. Hunter King tripped up at about the 23-yard line. So maybe the 24, actually it's going to be the 24. If you'd like to be one of our sponsors of the instant replay, as we uh, will take that on over into basketball whenever we can. If we've got a good enough signal, you know, it all takes internet. I'm thinking I'm smelling that uh, paper mill. Jalen Vinson and the Red Bay Tigers. Second down at about eight, handoff to the right side over the 25 up to the 28 yard line. We still, and there's two big flags coming in at the last second. I'm not for sure what happened there, but these were like unsportsmanlike uh, type uh, flags. Let's watch it and see if we can see anything there. Well, I guess the time we got there, the, it had already happened. We'll see what the official says here. Personal foul against Sheffield. Personal foul against Red Bay. It offsets. We'll replay the down. Thank you, Kevin and Ashley Watson. 13 to 12, Addison. Start of the third quarter. Here we're all tied up 14 to 14. Lou Ann Anglin Francis checking in. Tracy Garden, uh, Gordon. Greg Farr checking in with us as well. Thank you, Greg. Frankie Smith. Red Bay has third down and five at about their own 28-yard line. All tied up 14 to 14. We're in Sheffield. Jalen Vincent back to play. Pass down. He's got Mason Holt. The defensive guy fell down. We got it down to the 43-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. We're going to back this one up a little bit more to see the Tigers come up to the line of scrimmage. What a great play for the Red Bay Tigers down to the 43. We're going to show you that one again. Tiger's going to go to the old bone right here. Now you see the defensive guy fell down. Mason Holt able to get it down to about the 42, 43 yard line. It'll be first down for the Red Bay Tigers. Our instant replay tonight brought to you by John Cook at Alpha Insurance in Red Bay. Hey, Kurt Kennedy. John Matson up in Scarborough, Maine with us tonight. First and 10 Tigers. They go to the ball. We're going to run it at them. Hunter King down to the 41 yard line. We brought in Cam McKinney. Kennedy there on Levi Blanton. Logan Scott, who mainly plays on the defensive side. There's Melissa Close checking in with us there. 5.50 to go in the third quarter. Red Bay 14, Sheffield 14. Sheffield has led most of the game, but we're tied now. Red Bay will shift in that power out of the right side, and there's going to be a flag. And the flag is going to be encroachment against the Red Bay Tigers. We lined up offside. Appreciate the city of Red Bay along with Swamp Johns. Have you ever tried a chicken on the stick at Swamp John's? You're not in town on Wednesdays at lunch, right? Man, they are some kind of good. 
You can get them regular or hot. Now, they only make a few hot ones. The only difference is that one has some uh, jalapenos. Traveling for work and sitting at Reagan National Airport in D.C., John Matson is listening to the Ivy Man. And we're down in Red Bay, Alabama's game tonight with Sheffield, Alabama. John, we are in Sheffield. Got Byron Helms with us tonight. And we're all tied up by a score of 14 to 14. And we do have a heat timeout with 5.38 to go. We think we might have an update with um, Red Bay did uh, try the uh, two-point conversion, and uh, Bobby, they did not get it. They did try it. Uh, Nettleton has taken a 14-7 lead against Belmont down in Belmont tonight. Corinth leading Tishomingo County 42 to nothing at halftime. Rolling out. Boy, we got Humphreys wide open out there. Passes overthrown. Kind of threw it behind him. If he could have put that pass out in front and had it in stride, Colin could have picked up some extra yardage. Nettleton has scored again. It's now 21 to seven over Belmont. Quarterback back to pass. He's looking downfield. He's got Arden Hamilton incomplete. Pretty well had him covered good down there. I'm not sure the defender turned around uh, defending that. I may be able to get uh, the last part over there. The defensive guy never turned down, but we uh, never did get quite to uh, Arden Hamilton on the incompleted pass there. So the Red Bay Tigers are going to have fourth down now at about 12 to go for the first down. They are going to punt it. Uh, the line of scrimmage now is setting uh, with that penalty. What cost us a little bit of yardage? Yeah, we're at third 46 and a half yard line. Appreciate Dr. Larry Stutz, your state senator, making the game possible. Bragwell, end over end. Guy bobbles the ball at the 15, picks it up. Don't overrun right here. This guy's dangerous. And guess who put the hit on him? Jade Pounds. And we're going to show you that uh, replay here, Byron. Uh, I believe the world-famous Jade Pounds, uh, as you'll see right here, did a great job standing it up, then got some help on the Alpha Insurance replay of the game. We're live tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97, 14 to 14 is our score here. First down and 10, Sheffield at their own 15 yard line. This is probably their worst field position to start all night long. 5.02 to go, third quarter. Great game here in Sheffield tonight on homecoming night for the Bulldogs. Quarterback, little toss back, pitched it out, little option play. Little speed option, I guess you could say, is what we used to run down at Red Bay. We ain't run that in 100 years, have we? And Red Bay used to be so good at it. So many yards per game. Red Bay's production on that little speed option and a little quarterback draw. Would, that, would I almost be saying that was good for a couple of hundred yards a game? And we don't run those plays anymore. And... 4.25 to go. They picked up about five on that one. Second down and five. Quarterback back to pass. Looking. He's got a receiver, number seven, or number one out there. He dives at it. Makes a great catch. First down up at the 39-yard line. That was a very good play there. See him dive at it right there toward the Red Bay Tiger bench. And he got it up to the 38-yard line. First down and 10. 4.10 to go, third quarter. Live coverage here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Thanks to all of our great sponsors that make the game possible tonight. The Bay Auto Service and Detailing. Need an oil change, need your car cleaned up, make it look like new. Incomplete pass. Behind number five at the 43-yard line. Well, guess who can make it look new? Benny Kirkendall. I promise you, he's got a 
Uh, got it going on, detailing, inside and out, pickup delivery available. And we're also giving away a cleanup job from the Bay on our birthday and anniversary show on our monthly winner. So we put all the daily winners' names in a hat and give them a nice detailed job of their automobile from the Bay. Thank you, McKinney RV Theron. Says good luck to Cam and the Tigers. 14 to 14, second down 10. That their own 37 and a half yard line. They being the Sheffield Bulldogs. Sheffield, quick toss to the right, our left side. He's hit hard over there by the Tigers at about the 40 yard line. And what a hit that was by the Tigers. We'll see if we can show that to you at the end of it. Watch this hit by the Tigers. Bodies flying everywhere. Oh, Cam McKinney. Alley, uh, and some other guys in on the stop right there. Clock running, third quarter, 3.22 to go. Somebody's been wanting a Russell will score, so if you've got that, post it. Decatur Heritage, 26-13 over Carbon Heights, late third quarter there. Long throw down the field, and they're going to get the Tigers there. Obvious uh, pass interference against the Red Tigers as we pulled him down there. And we'll let you watch that one again. See the Tigers pull him down with his left arm there. And it will be a penalty against the Red Bay Tigers. Fourteen to fourteen is the score. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. And Sheffield has got uh, the Red Bay Tiger 45 yard line. Well, Nettleton and Belmont was seven to seven at halftime. Nettleton has scored 21 unanswered points in the third quarter. Hand off this time, and the Tigers are there to make the stop. Good play there, Logan Scott, Parker, Kennedy in on the stop as well. Clock running with 2.31 to go. Sheffield second down, and we're going to call it seven to go for the first down at the Red Bay Tigers, 42. Bowling, back, throws it, complete it, down to the 30-yard line, to the 27-yard line. We're having trouble covering these big guys from Sheffield. So if the quarterback is accurate and they hang on, uh, he can thread a needle, and he did right there, and it's another first down for the Sheffield Bulldogs on our Alpha Insurance replay. Sheffield moving it. Tigers 14, Sheffield 14. Sheffield in the shotgun, two receivers right, two left. Quarterback back to pass. He's going for the end zone on this, and he's got a man out there, but it's incomplete. Threw that one out of bounds. Too long. Appreciate Gary Armstrong. It does all you does your backhoe work. Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry located on the Golden Road. You can call him at 356-8899 for your appointment. Practicing since 1993. Staff members are Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Rose. Also, big shout out tonight to Dr. Fabian and his staff at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, along with John Cook at Alpha Insurance. If you see John, tell him how much you appreciate him making these uh, instant replays possible. A little sweep here to the right side, down to the 21 yard line. They're going to give him to the 20. They're going to have third down and about three to go for the first down. Russellville leading Moulton 15 to 14 at halftime. Old Tracy Bays and his crew watching the game tonight. So Russellville leading Moulton 15 to 14. Quarterback back to pass, third down and three. Looks at him deep downfield, incomplete. 
covering for the Tigers is number 10, and that is uh, Jalen Vincent. I don't know where we'll show you a part of this play right here. As soon as the play's over, we'll go back to our live shot right here. There you see it, and Jalen Vincent almost had, a, had the better shot at it where that pass was. Appreciate Jeanette Pearson checking in with us. Here's a big play. Fourth down and three at the Red Bay Tiger 20 yard line. Sheffield gonna hand it off. Tigers come up. Jade pounds, and the Red Bay Tigers are gonna throw him for a loss, and guess what? It will belong to the Red Bay Tigers. We'll show you that and again. You watch uh, the Red Bay Tigers pounds, grab him. And two more guys come on top to help him out. One of them being Edgman, one of them being uh, Vincent. Oh, Jerry Vick checking in up in Tennessee. Jerry, hope you're enjoying our broadcast right here. Dr. Stephen Ray, are y'all liking our instant replay tonight? If we have uh, good internet enough to do the Facebook Live broadcast the way we're doing it, we will have the Facebook uh, Live Instant replays available on the basketball as well whenever we get an opportunity to show a good replay. Tigers handoff, Hunter King, 35, up to the 40, to the 41-yard line. It's a first down and 10 for the Tigers on almost a 20-yard run by the Tigers there. Watch Hunter King break into the open. He's dragging one of their guys up to the 41-yard line, and it'll be first down and 10. Red Bay Tigers were all tied up 14 to 14. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Ray at Dr. Ray's Family Dentistry there in Red Bay. Thank you, David Hester, Commissioner, County Commissioner for Red Bay. Alpha Insurance, also BJ L. Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Sussies. First down, 10 are on 41, Hunter King. Hunter's got two, then they push him back. They're gonna give him to about the 43 yard line, almost the 44 across the way, depending on which spot they go with. Right now, he's gonna spot it on this guy over here. So they're only gonna give him a couple of yards. Thank you, Billy Pfeiffer. Shana Osborne out there tonight. Tommy Cox. Defense, great stop, Danny Latham. We're tied up, eight seconds to go. Folks, we're going to the fourth quarter. It's the Red Bay Tigers, 14. The Sheffield Bulldogs, 14. This drive could be the drive that wins the game. Sheffield, as we've seen tonight, are very, very explosive. They can score in a hurry. They scored on the first play of the game when they got the, uh, got it. I think they're gonna have the. They're gonna, they're gonna have the, they're gonna have the lowering of the colors here this evening in Sheffield. So we'll pause just for a second. And the lowering of the colors here in Sheffield, Alabama. Folks, we're moving to the fourth quarter. We'll make those adjustments. On our shot here. We hope you're enjoying our broadcast here tonight on WRNG. We'll be live at Colbert County next week. There's old Isabel Herrera, make peace checking in with us. Haley Offries, Nick Thorne, Mike Schubert, Franco McKee checking in with us. Johnny Cleveland and Miss Martha back with us. Red Bay at their own 43 yard line will have second down and eight yards to go for the first down. Just starting the second quarter. Quarterback's gonna pull it down. 45 to the 50, down to the 45, to the 40, to the 35. And we'll see where they place it. And coach talks about it all time, about uh, saving uh, Vincent's legs. And you'll watch him on this play here. 
He, it's a keeper the whole way. He has a run pass option, but I promise you this one was pull it down and run it and get what you can. And he shows his speed. His legs are fresh from running the ball. And they're going to give him. So they're going to give him the, the, what, 31? 31 yard line. And we got a timeout. Looks like the uh, Red Bay Tigers. Are they going to call a timeout? Look, they are going to call a timeout. So it looks like Red Bay will call a timeout. Hope we don't need that late in the game. 14 to 14. 11 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Red Bay will have it first down and 10 at the 31 yard line of Sheffield. I am not keeping up stats. Uh, I don't have the Kennedy man with us tonight, but uh, I don't know for sure how many hunters got tonight. We'll have that on the show on Monday for you though. Caleb Collins, thank you. T.J. Bolton, brother Rayburn Massey with us tonight. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here. If you've not shared our link, we'd love for you to do it now. And thanks to all the great comments tonight. Once again, thank you for being out there. Dane Ezel checking in with us. You know the Ezel man, don't you? You and Dane take a few snaps together. A bunch. Red Bay with a power eye. You know, that tailback is Humphreys. He's going to get the ball. Flag on the play. Breaking to the outside to 30. They're going to get him at the 26-yard line. Could it be one of them old chop blocks, or is it a hold or what? Appreciate Randy Holland checking in with us. The officials are talking over. Byron's got us a great shot. We'll tell you as soon as we know. With 11-13 to go in the game, all tied up 14-14. to -14. Cody Wooten, did you play? Cody play together? I thought so. They're talking it over. Now, I don't know whether there's another flag on the other side of the field or not. But the one over here, here's the main one we're gonna be looking at. Chop block against Sheffield. Now here's another one, a personal foul against Sheffield. So there's a chop block against Sheffield. Then there is a personal foul against Sheffield. I heard one guy say down here, there's no such thing as a chop block on the defense. And boy, the time they get through stepping it off, both penalties, one of them a dead ball foul after the chop block. And folks, that's gonna move it all the way down to the seven yard line. It'll be first down and 10, Red Bay Tigers. Folks in Sheffield not too pleased with that call. Here's the Red Bay Tigers, Hunter King. Hunter has it stripped away, a fumble, and I think we got on it. Oh my goodness, they stripped it away from Hunter and the Tigers do recover it. Let's see if we got to it in time to show it. Right, you can see it got stripped out and who got in there and recovered that thing? Uh, I don't know who got it. Do you know who got it? Cam McKinney recovered that one. 10.39 to go. We're gonna run it this time to the left. Humphreys, Humphreys heading into the end zone, touchdown. Red Bay Tigers. Let's look at that one again. I'm not sure if he got touched much. We're gonna run it to the left side. A lot of great blocking out there and he cut right in behind the block as that defense was pushing him out to the side. What a play by the Red Bay Tigers. Let's look at it one more time on the Alpha Insurance replay. And the Tigers are into the end zone and on the scoreboard. And will now go for their two-point conversion here. Red Bay's up 20 to 14. This is big. Tigers are in there for the two-point conversion. 
and the two-point conversion is good for the Red Bay Tigers. We'll make the change right here on our end, so you'll be able to see it on your end. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers. Let's go back and look at that touchdown one more time. Byron, check this out right here. Your great camera work. Defense pushing them out, cuts it right in. That's the way it's done, right? From the blockers and runners, both. And the shoot. Byron, is your, uh, you think your wife is still watching? She may be getting slow, so now would be the time to tell them that you went to Dairy Queen. Yeah, I was forced to go to Dairy Queen by Jack. Well, I didn't get anything but water, did I? A uh, chocolate dip cone. But a small. Yeah, it was small. <laughs> it was good. Danny Latham, you liked that, didn't you? Folks, thank you for being with us. 10-32, that score comes. It's 22-14. Thank you, Joe Tester, Kelly Moore, Miss Tony and Lynette Horton out there with us, Coach Mayfield, Jane Johnston and her crew. And we have got the Tigers, I think, are going to be offsides on the kickoff. They'll make us re-kick that one again, I would imagine. Appreciate it, Terry Parsons, Marilyn Mason Johnson, Jason Milam, Angie Gillian. Thank you, Sue Tate, Mike Engel. Got Dallas Humphreys out there with us tonight. Was you playing when Dallas was playing too? Brent may have played with him too. Yeah. Trivia question: What was Dallas's Humphreys number? I'm, I'm on Dallas. You're going to have to. I'm thinking eight. Huh? What was his num? What was his number? Okay, Dallas, my guess is eight. Byron's agreeing with me. So, Dallas, tell us what your number is. And guess what? There's another flag against the Tigers. They've already moved us back once. And it looks like they're going to move us again. Coach really questioning this one across the way. I don't know where I can – I'm sorry. I don't know where I can get it back far enough to show you what happened there. And they blew it dead, but. Uh, well, we have picked up two five yard penalties and now we're gonna kick off at the 30. Thank you, Scott Osborne, Terry James over in Iuka tonight. Kayla Moses Harden, Chris Humphreys with us after tonight. Terry James, uh, Miss Amanda Ledbetter. If you've not shared it right now, it'd be a good time to share this link. They don't need these extra 10 yards that we've given. We're going to kick off now from the 30. They're standing now about their own 30-yard line. And they got two speedsters back deep at about the 30. Jalen Benson needs the kick of his life right here. And he is going to try to kick it deep. It's not going down, but about to 35. He catches it on a run to the 45, to the 50. We finally get him at the 47-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 in great field position for the Sheffield Bulldogs. There's the return. And uh, as you can see, uh, I actually didn't go back far enough. The play lasted, but uh, all the Alpha Insurance replay there, he got it all the way down to the 47-yard line. John Matson's wanting about to get on the plane. He wants us to get him a win. We hope so. Rick Bradley, brother Rick, thank you. Morgan Stanfield, hey Mo. All right, here we go. Sheffield, very explosive. 10 24 to go in the game. We're up 22 14. Throw across the middle. It is incomplete. They've got some great receivers, they got a lot of speed. Tough quarterback back there as well. 4-3 Grillin Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum for all your catering needs and just great food every day. They're closed Sunday and Monday, but I promise you they make it worth your while to come on Tuesday through Saturday. 4th Street Grillin Steakhouse, awesome food all the time at 4th Street. Big play, second down 10 to the Red Bay Tiger, 47. Quarterback, plenty of time. He pulls it down. Long throw down the field and incomplete. Kennedy put a hit on him in the backfield as he threw it. 
Um, I might be able to go back far enough to uh, see that. I'll see if we do. Do what? You can see he faked the throw, then pulled it down. And now the long throw down the field, it's incomplete. Right now it's third down and 10. Big defensive play for the Tigers. Sounding good in North Carolina. Thank you, Chris Humphreys. Let's go Red Bay. Kyle Moses with us. Benny Kirkendall out there with us. Oh, that was a bad false start right there. The quarterback started to snap it, and then he did. I can show you what he did if you'll give me a half a second. You watch it close right there on the line. He bends down, and he's going to snap it. See him move the ball? And that is the penalty. Got to move it back to their own 48-yard line. Once again, if you're enjoying the game tonight, love to get those numbers up here late in the fourth quarter. 22-14, Red Bay. Quarterback back to pass. Long throw down the field. He's got a completed pass to the 40. We bring him down, and it'll be fourth down and short as the Red Bay Tigers make that stop over there. Nathan Elrod, and we do have a flag. And it is going to be a flag against Sheffield. There you see he made the catch. We drug him down. But that's coming back. Thanks to our Alpha Insurance replay. That will move it back. That happens from the spot, so it's going to cost them even more all the way back to the 30-yard line. 9.54 to go, 22-14, to 14, Red Bay on top. Appreciate you, Brad Ivey, checking in with us tonight. Brenda Elliott. And now we have got a, an official timeout. See, get Byron to show us the coaches over here. He's wanting to, he's wanting to talk this one over here, and I think we're going to get a timeout with 9:54 to go. Tiger fans going crazy. Their coach said, "Hey, I need a little explanation here." Hey, brother Brent's out there watching tonight. Can you believe that? Heath Thorne with us. Susan Ledbetter. Did you? You came along after Heath, right? Okay, Heath was a senior when you was a freshman. Andy Thorne out there with us tonight. Folks, it's an honor to have you on a broadcast here tonight. We could not do without you. Thank you, uh, Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. You need to buy a home, sell a home. I can give you Bunny's number. She can sell anything under the sun. 256-460-8064. Proud to be a sponsor of the Red Bay Tiger football, basketball, baseball, softball. She does a wonderful job. Angie and Ted LeMay consider the lilies. Large selection of flowers ready. They make uh, custom make anything you want. Got a lot of stuff made up. Got the new holiday scents are coming in. A lot of lantern, wind chimes, and a lot of experience at 356-8313 is considered the lilies. Oh, Ty Nichols checking in with us. Third down and a mile. About 33 to be exact. Quarterback pulls it down. He throws it downfield. He's got a receiver, catches the ball. He's still going to be about eight yards short of the first down as Hunter Burks makes the touchdown. But that quarterback, he just keeps buying time. And with him buying that time, uh, he's got time to find a receiver open. Here you see this play on the Alpha Insurance replay. Steps up to the pocket, rolls out to the right, crumbs back to the middle of the field, and his guy was coming back to the ball. That's uh, so Sheffield has got fourth down and eight yards to go. They're showing they're going to punt with nine minutes to go, 22 to 14. Appreciate Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education, Congressman Robert Idaho. He is going to punt it. Red Bay does not have anybody back, and it goes into the end zone. we got a break. Appreciate Right Place, Red Bay's beautiful new venue for all types of parties, reunions, and events. You need to book them right now if you're needing to book a party and you know you got something coming up. 
256-412-8376. Chris and Leslie Wright are your owners. They'd love to accommodate you. Stadium pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton, Barksdale. Carl Lewis sausage available at Swamp John's. Kim Lindsay does all you screen printing and monogramming. It's so cute for you. You can contact her on Facebook or 256-668-0142. The Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road. They're open seven days a week. I think I asked Keith this. Have you tried their hot fudge cake? Mm-mm. It's better than what you had and what I had earlier. It's only $2.55. I paid $2.69 for a small Kona ice cream with a little chocolate on it. Red Bay Tigers, pretty good run on the first go there. I don't know where I can possibly go back to show you any of that run or not. I was talking here. Here are the Tigers in the bone. Got to run it to the left side. Cutting that ball in is Humphreys, and what a play by the Red Bay Tigers. Well, picked up about 17 on that play. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. This time we got Hunter. Hunter's up over the 40, breaks it to the 45 to the 46-yard line. And the Tigers right now just lining it up, running it right at him. Look at Hunter come here. Hunter King, folks. Hard running there. Second down and a yard. He picked up nine on that one. My cousin, Mike Avey, he's over here in the Shoals watching the game. Thank you, Mike. Mark Massey, Max Sparks, Jeff Frame out there, Emily Taylor, Jason Collin, Joe Tester, Ralph Sherwin Winchester, Coach Dale Jeffries, Randy Creekmore, Ucella Sonderwood. We're live in Sheffield, Alabama. Hope you enjoy the broadcast. Red Bay leads 22-14, 7.49 to go. Colin Humphreys and the Tigers. First down, down to the 45-yard line. The official went down on that one. He got run over. I don't know where I, you'll have to look close to see the official, but boy, the Tigers are coming up to the line right here. Watch this one, Byron. I don't know where we got the, uh, the official getting run over or not. There you see him get cut down right there. He's being helped up by Mr. Dylan Hester. He's okay. He gets up and spots the ball. Well, the Tigers winning the ball on this series right here. Actually, the last series, too, was able to move that ball down the field. Tigers hand it off to Hunter. Hunter, 5, 10, down the sideline to the 30-yard line. He picked up 15 more yards. Red Bay Tigers have it first down and 10, leading 22 to 14. Mike, uh, my cousin, was at this game, his son plays, I think, for Wilson, is that right? Uh, he was on the sideline doing a little snap picture taking and all that stuff and got his leg broke at the game. Mike, where does uh, your son play at? Is it Wilson? You know, we're if it is, we're coming to Wilson in a couple of weeks or so or at the end of the season last game. We have got another timeout with 7.09 to go. The Tigers will have it first down and 10 at the 31-yard line. What is that? What has she got? They bring in some kind of special drink on the sideline over here. Mike is, uh, is that Hutton or is that a misspell? 22 to 14. Red Bay, after the timeout, will have it at the Sheffield 31 yard line. Oh, he graduated last year from Wilson. I knew I thought I had my Wilson right. All right, here we go, 22 to 14. Red Bay in the power eye. They call it the bone offense. Vincent under center. We're gonna quarterback sneak it right up the middle for five, six, seven. Maybe eight yards on that quarterback sneak. So the Tigers taking over this game. Some great physical play. Red Bay Tigers with 18 seconds on the clock. On the play clock, we're 6.35 to go in the game. Red Bay leads it 22-14. We will play 
Colbert County right on the road next week. Hand off to Humphreys. Humphreys got a first down inside the 20. Down to about the 18-yard line. We're live on WRMG. Don't forget about the Alpha Insurance Replay. If you see John Cook, tell him that you appreciate him sponsoring the uh, Instant Replay. And if you'd like to help sponsor the Instant Replay, we'd love to hear from you. I'm going to show you Colin Humphreys running hard right here. He just stayed with it, didn't he? Red Bay leads it 22 to 14. Appreciate BJL Rod Walters at BJ's Hair City, Commissioner David Hester, Alpha Insurance, 4th Street Grill. What about also on the broadcast today, Stadium Pros, Greg Hamilton, our Superintendent of Education, Humphreys, out to the outside, inside the 10, down to the 9-yard line, maybe the 8. Yeah, you're right, Adam McGee. Tigers wearing them down big time right here. Addison, you ready for this? 28, Colbert County 12. And that's late in the third quarter. Addison leading Colbert County. So Colbert County, if that holds up, the Tigers could really put themselves in the driver's seat there with the Tigers already a win over Addison earlier in the year. We got a timeout. Thank you, Congressman Robert Adderholt, for making this game possible tonight. Right place. Uh, told you about, of course, uh, Kim Lindsay. It's so cute for you. What about your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones? Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent on 19. What about Community Spirit Bank? Your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, Dr. Ralph Nix at uh, his family dentistry in Red Bay, 356 8641. Also, we want to thank uh, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, now riding insurance in Mississippi and Alabama. 256-356-4459 for home, auto, personal, whatever your needs might be. Come see Ronald Thorne in downtown Red Bay. Also, Predator Pest Control. Thank you, Clay and Ted Weatherford and Eddie Deaton. Albin Mason Construction Company, 662-660-3355. Red Bay's got first down and go with, nine, or with 535 to go. We're going to sneak it down inside the five to the four. Great blocking up front by the Red Bay Tigers. Jessica Hamilton, thank you so much for checking in with us. Brooke Carnes, Bruce Hellams, Gail Gann with us after tonight. Folks, you've been watching Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Brought to you by Mr. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. And Greg has done a wonderful job. And I know the folks in Red Bay is awful excited about some of the new things that's coming to the Red Bay School. Med Express of Red Bay, Kayla Humphreys, Triple D's Bucket Service, Mike Engel at Engel Farms. Second down and goal. Tigers keep it on the ground into the end zone for a touchdown. Jalen Vincent in there for the touchdown. Now the question is, do you want to watch it again? Of course you do. A little quarterback sneak move, Vincent. And he's into the end zone, and the Red Bay Tigers have increased the lead. Red Bay now leads 28. Thank you, Coach Billy Turberfield out there with us tonight. Carla Wright. Red Bay going for the two-point conversion, pulling it down and taking it in there is Jalen Vinson. Can you say the Red Bay Tigers now lead 30 to 14? Folks, it was 14 to 14. And now the Red Bay Tigers with a touchdown and the two-point conversion leads by a score of 30 to 14. You folks that are joining us on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97, honored to have you on our broadcast here today. We're live in Sheffield, Alabama on WRMG Radio, TV 12, TV 97. We're on Facebook Live tonight. And with 5.03 to go, don't forget the Coaches Show. Uh, we uh, do the Coaches Show Monday morning. We air it Monday night. We'll have it on uh, Facebook Live and YouTube. Uh, by midday Monday. Appreciate Gina Dillingham with us out there tonight. Ashlyn Kevin Watson with us out there tonight. Honored to have you folks watching Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Your score is 30 to 14. There's Randy Cornelius and checking in, my next door neighbor down in Belmont. There's Miss Jada Pitts checking in. Thank you, Miss Jada. Red Bay Tiger football with 5.03 to go. 
Don't forget about Explore Liquidations. They got a big sale everywhere, all locations. Always 50 to 75% off from national name brand retailers. Save money every day at Explore Liquidation. Don't forget about those mattresses and all types of furniture. Tigers kick off out past the 40 yard line. So it's gonna be the 41 yard line for Sheffield. As the Tigers are in great position now. Mike said it happened on the 35 yard line across the way. Thank you, Dean Hubbard, Billy Turberfield. Thank you so much. So it looks like Sheffield will take over at their own 41 yard line. Corinth has knocked off uh, Tishomingo County tonight by a score of 56 to seven. Quarterback back to pass, a little swing pass out of the backfield. He's at the 40, up to the 45, up to the 50. He's gonna be short of the first down. Mr. Pounds in on the stop for the Red Bay Tigers. Nettleton now leading Belmont 35 to seven. It was seven to seven at halftime. Quarterback, incomplete pass down at the 45. Well, right now, Sheffield's got third down. And about two to go there at midfield. They're going to hand it off. He is going to have the first down. Is Cam McKinney there to wrap him up. The off insurance replay. Billy Turberfield, let's see if we got it back far enough. There's a handoff. As you can say, we stack him up. Cam, good job there. And he is going to be... A first down, they got an injured player down. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Appreciate John Cook and all the great folks. Uh, of course, Miss Kim Brooks wants more. She wants the running clock. She's never satisfied, is she? Huh? Most. Kim, if you will listen, I will keep you up to date on the time. I do have the capabilities of doing that, but it would take another person to Actually, we need another person doing the replays that I'm doing already. 30 to 14. 409 to go, 30 to 14. Red Bay leading, it was 14 to 14. There's the snap, quarterback back to pass, going for the home run downfield, it's incomplete, and a flag against the Tigers. They're gonna get this one against, I believe, number one for the Red Bay Tigers. We'll show you that to you again and see what you think. Here's our Alpha Insurance John Cook instant replay on WRMG. Quarterback back to pass, long throw down the field. They did get kind of tangled up there. That's old Kaiser Jackson. So they're going to get a first down out of it as we go back to live video. Keith not with us tonight. He's out of town on assignment tonight. Carly Helms out there with us tonight, Margie Martin. So Sheffield with 3.56 to go in the game, trailing 30 to 14. They're at the Red Bay Tigers 32 yard line after the interference with the Tigers. Bowling back, screen over the middle. Tigers fell for that 25 down to the 20. 15 yard line down to the 13. You saw that whole defensive line by the Tigers coming through, and of course you knew that they were setting up the screen. They let them all come through. You watch all the white shirts come toward the quarterback and watch him just dump it over the middle. They just let them go. See them all go through there, and they knew they were in trouble then. He dumped it off, and he got it down inside the 15 for a first down.
for Sheffield. Quarterback back to pass, pulls it down. Now he's going to throw it to the corner of the end zone. He's got a man out there, and it's uh, overthrown. Out of bounds. Hope you've enjoyed our broadcast here tonight. We'll get out of here in a hurry as soon as this one's over. Thanks to Triple D's Bucket Service. You folks down in Red Bay, Belmont, wherever you're listening, you need trees trim, removed totally, a clean up around on your property there. I know the folks that do a wonderful job. They're licensed, abundant. Triple D's Bucket Service. They work in the area all the time. 662-279-7500. And say, I forgot who Jack was talking about. Call down there. We can tell you who it is. Mike Engel at Engel Farms. Thank you so much. She's going to make Patrick come help us. Quarterback back to pass over the middle. It's incomplete right at the goal line. We can, uh, we might be able to show you that one again. I'll show you the Alpha Insurance replay here. But there is a flag, right? About the eight yard line. We'll show you this play first. Boy, it's a bullet over the middle. We'll go back to our live shot and ineligible receiver downfield. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth Intrican King and Carly Deaton Nunley, Connie Funderburg. Appreciate you, Miss Kim and Patrick and all the Brooks family out there tonight. We're down to three minutes and 16 seconds to go. Red Bay 30 to 14. Was it 14, 14 and a half, right? Homecoming night here in Sheffield. Three minutes and 16 seconds. Dean Hubbard, be patient now. If you'll listen, I'm going to tell you that time. These folks are not too patient. Quarterback back to pass, pulling it down. 20 seconds, incomplete at the goal line, and another flag on the field. There's uh, Dr. Ray and Miss Michelle checking us out. Tammy McAlpin, Miss Regina Boyd, all with us here tonight. Red Bay 30 to 14. JW. Moody out there with us tonight. 3.09 to go in the game. Another flag against Sheffield. Sheffield has had a ton of penalties tonight. They had about 50 yards at halftime, and Red Bay had maybe 20. Appreciate Larry Blackburn. He's checking in up here in Sheffield, Alabama. Hey, Larry Blackburn. Thirty to fourteen. Three oh four to go. There's old Scotty James checking in with us over at Iuka. Hey Jack from the heart of the Shoals in Sheffield, Alabama. Red Bay leads thirty to fourteen. Quarterback back to pass. Long throw down the field. He's got a man out there, and it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by Kaiser Jackson. And I might uh, I might be able to get you a, a quick one on that. We'll show you this one in a hurry. You look at uh, Kaiser, he had it played very well. The quarterback drops back, he's got plenty of time, looks downfield, Kaiser right there, running stride for stride and a great job. The Alpha Insurance replay. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Ray, loving that instant replay. Hopefully it looks good for you tonight. Third down and a mile to go. Quarterback pulling it down. He is going to get sacked by Hunter Burks, and it'll be fourth down with 2.56 to go. Hunter Burks there making the stop. Look at Hunter and the Red Bay Tigers. Hunter's fired up, isn't he? Parker there with him. Edgeman, these guys doing a wonderful job. Fourth down at the 35-yard line of Red Bay. 2.33 to go, clock running. They need to get down inside the five-yard line for a first down. They got to go for the end zone on this one. Quarterback back to pass. He lays it up, and it's going to be way overthrown, incomplete. Hey, 
I'm not for sure. I, I thought there was some extracurricular activities that went on right there at the end of the play. So Red Bay is going to win this thing. We're down to 216 to go, 30 to 14 the score. So Red Bay with a power eye, 216 to go, just going to run it out. They go to Colin Humphreys, Colin to the 40, 45. He got about 13, 14 yards to go. And Red Bay has really, really wore the Sheffield Bulldogs down here in the second half. It's one of those BioLite nights, that IV in a bottle available at, of course, Red Bay Pharmacy. Coach, you really was uh, bragging on that bio light. You don't see them cramping up too much, right? If you got a bio light, me and you both need one. I'm going to get a bio light after I get that other blizzard. Hand off to Hunter. Hunter lowers his head, and he's up to the uh, past the 50s, down to the 45-yard line. He picked up seven yards on that one. Thank you, David Pruitt, Jeff and Sherry Hubbard, Josh Raper. Juliana Blackburn out there with us tonight. Kenny Sparks, Justin Roberts, Woody and Jane Edwards, Susan Howard, Sylvia, Doug Lyles up in Alaska. Hope you've enjoyed our broadcast. Make sure you tell all these sponsors how much you appreciate them. Appreciate Tiffin Motorhomes, um, Mike Engel at Engel Farms. A minute 13 to go. We're going to quarterback sneak it for the first down. That's Jalen Vinson. Appreciate Wright Body Shop and RV Repair. That's, uh, of course, Mr. Chris Wright, 256-810-0763. Michael Bunn with us here this evening. Appreciate Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Your official York dealer for three generations plus, over 45 years in the business. Thank you, Redmont Pharmacy, Tiffin Supply, Tri-State Insurance, Red Band Belmont. Tigers going into everybody's favorite formation. And that's the old victory formation. We'll kneel down on it. We'll have to do it. Well, they're not going to wind it up. Yeah, I guess they did. We're going to have to put our knee down one more time. We're going to get out of here in a hurry. Folks, uh, thanks to Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, Chris and Valerie Moore at Bay Diesel, Red Bay Hospital. We've got Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569. Free estimates on new installs. He's licensed, certified, and Bundy does a wonderful job. Thank you, Patrick Brooks. Residential and commercial install service and repairs. Banner Tire Store, Redmond Pharmacy, Cash and Thermoplastics, Big Star, Franklin Electric, H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton, CBNS Bank, Grace Long Real Estate, Sunshine Mills, Piggly Wiggly, and by Runny Cook, your modern woman agent. You may have heard the horn in the background. It's all final. The Tigers stay undefeated. And should be sitting if uh, if uh, Addison hangs on tonight, Byron, we'd be setting up at the top by ourselves with a big, big game next week against Carbert County. We'll be live at Carbert County next week. Thank you, Michael Bunn, Danny Lath, Gail Rooker out there tonight, Ralph and Cheryl Winchester once again. Our final score, the Red Bay Tigers victorious tonight, 30-14. to Y'all be good. Thank y'all. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers winning it tonight, 30 to 14. We'll get our scoreboard fixed so it'll look uh, right on our TV broadcast. And uh, so y'all give me just a half a second, but uh, I like to type that word in, F-I-N-A-L. And that means the Tigers have uh, won this ball game. Once again, the final score is 30 to 14. Uh, 30 to 14, honored to have you on the broadcast again tonight. And uh, you folks uh, don't know how much we appreciate you. Uh, do me a favor. You'll be able to watch this game again if you want to go back to watch it and you can rewind it and whatever. And uh, if you're out there joining us, Tigers meeting down at the end of the field down there. We'll get you one more shot of them as we get ready to leave here tonight. But once again, uh, appreciate the great job that Byron's done on the broadcast tonight. Appreciate Denisa back at Control Center. 
Belmont losing uh, big in the second half. It was tied at halftime. And, of course, the final score was 42-7, to uh, Nettleton. They scored uh, 35 points in the second half. And, of course, uh, uh, Corinth put 56 up on Tish County. They won like 56-7. to So the Tigers only win in our uh, broadcast uh, group that we do. Thank you, Joe Tester. And once again, appreciate Byron. You folks uh, will hopefully have old Keith back next week. We'll be in Carbert County. And hopefully you'll be there uh, in person. If not, you can listen to the broadcast right here. If we have good internet, we'll do it on Facebook Live like tonight. If not, you know you can always listen to it live right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, for Denisa Byron, I'm Jack Ivy saying good night. The final score, the Red Bay Tigers win it 30-14. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you for joining us here tonight. <laughs>